So there are two games releasing tomorrow that I'm looking forward to. Ours at the Jewel of Fairmore. Oh, and the Tomb Raider remastered. Oh, that's exciting. Oh my gosh, I remember I remember a long time ago there was a girl who wasn't a friend of mine. <laughs> In fact, I hated her guts. But uh she lived really close to us and she her parents had where when did where where did Tomb Raider when did Tomb Raider get released? Was it on the PlayStation 1 that it got released? I can't remember. But anyways, I we Sometimes I would go over with my friend, we would hang out with her, and uh, she had Tomb Raider up. <laughs> so that was my first early memory, is watching everybody play Tomb Raider. I hated that girl, though. <laughs> PS1 and PC? Okay, well, it was definitely PS1. It was definitely PlayStation 1. First Tomb Raider was 1996. 1996? Okay, we definitely wasn't that one that I saw. Or actually, maybe it was. No, it must have been like the second or third, the one, the one that I remember. When did the second or third one come out? Do y'all remember? Can y'all look it up for me? What's your name? What's her name? Grace? <laughs> How'd you know, Ian? <laughs> nah, her name wasn't Grace. Her name was Amber. She was, she was a bully. She was the very first bully I've ever experienced in my life. I hated her guts. I guess the Saturn version was first. Is there Saturn? What's that? Wait, what's Saturn? Is that a name of a console? What is Saturn? Or is that the name of one of the... <laughs> oh, it was Se Sega Saturn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I did, I, was it called a Sega Saturn? Oh, I don't know that. <laughs> Ian. <laughs> uh, I need to get some more of these little red finny gems, don't I? You never played the OG Tomb Raider games? They were difficult. And I want to say they were difficult because the platforming was difficult. In, on the PlayStation 1, right guys? I feel like that, I don't know, I can't, I can't remember. Oh wait, I have like no music on, let me turn some. Let me turn this happy home send music on. It was kind of like, you know in Final Fantasy 7, the graphics kind of make it, made it a little bit harder. Just because they were older graphics, granted, at the time, they were really good. Um, but I just, and I, I always go back to that one memory in, when I was playing the Final Fantasy VII uh, original, the OG Final Fantasy VII, uh, when you had to jump on that little swinging thing, and you had to like jump off it at the right time to even like go forward. That was hard. <laughs> and it was because the graphics were so old. I wonder if they're gonna do like, cute little easter eggs and rebirth with stuff like that though i feel like that i can't remember that part was that like the beginning of final fantasy 7 that part where you had to jump on that little vine thing or was that later i can't remember final fantasy 7 is is a really long game and i had watched a a uh, recap video. My, uh, I had watched an original and remake recap video because it's just been it's just been a bit. And my obviously my memory is kind of fuzzy with some details of that game. And I wanted to be ready for my sponsor stream yesterday. And when I was watching the Final Fantasy VII original, um, it was like like an hour, two hour long video. Holy cow, though! There's so much that happens in that game. It's a lot. Like, a lot. Like, insane amount. Um, wait, where's my... Yeah, I never used it. Hi, Jaybird! Hello! Thanks for the tier 2 in 76 months. I was watching... Uh, there's so much music going on right now. Uh, I was watching... 
you and Orca and a bunch of your friends play, what was it, Civ recently? <laughs> it was fun watching. I don't, I don't know if I would enjoy playing Civ, but it was, it was a joy watching though. Civ 6, Civ 6, yeah, Civ 6. <laughs> oh wait, no, I don't want that one. <laughs> it was fun watching. I liked it. Why did, if you don't use your bait, do you lose your bait? Oh no, it's right there. Okay, I have lots of bait. Oh, you didn't know we were... <laughs> yeah, Orko is like in voice call with us. We're all just like hanging out. And he was like... Because we were waiting for him to watch like Korean drama. And he's like, well, I'm going to play this game first. We're like, okay, can we watch? <laughs> so we were watching him. It was fun. It was fun. <sighs> okay, I did all of that. Let me go to Ruiz River. PS1 is when some games started getting very long. How long to beat the Dragon Quest 7? Jeez. I can imagine. Dragon Quest games are known for being pretty long, right? She's always watching. <laughs> wow, way to make it sound scary. <laughs> I had fun though. I was watching. I've never, I haven't seen any plot, anybody play Civ, um, Civ 6 yet. Y'all, that experience was my first time. Good morning, CJ. Hello. Look at all of these goodies that I have that don't expire. Let's see. I think I did everything. I have to remember at 1 to 2 p.m. I have to go and check on my wine. My wine is going to be like the worst tasting wine in this game, though. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Not the wine. Okay, we need to go back and do some more alchemists. Stuff. What was I? What, what was happening? It's been, it's been so, a bit. I can't remember what happened. What happened? I can't remember. Oh, G G Joe, G I Joe. <laughs> Is that how I say it? Thanks for the four months. That was sweet of you. Thank you for the resub. Hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. Funny you mentioned that though, uh, that night we were asking Orca to join voice and he said he couldn't. <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> he was stuck in voice with us. <laughs> Sorry, Jaybird. <laughs> they are known for being long in general and I think DQ7 is the longest one. 75 to 90 hour main story? Jeez. That's a lot. All right, what's happened in G11? Disappearance of the book dealer, castle, oh, royal castle chef. Right, that guy. That guy wasn't wasn't missing though. Um, and then what happened after some? Kylie's okay, but soon after Sidiad sends Kylie direct to the Shadow Realm to search for Kai, who has resigned as a royal alchemist. Right, so that happened. But now we're in search of Jenna. Talk to Colin and Tailtian. Okay, let's go talk to Colin and Tailtian. All right, we're going to do some story in Mabinogi today, guys. All right, Tailtian. Man, that leaf blowing it up today. That grass is still dead. What are they, what are they leaf blowing? Um, oh, wait, oops. Wait, no, this is fine. I need to figure out where to go. Okay, who's, who is Colin? Colin and Tail, who is that again? Okay, that, there he is, found him. Do y'all have anything fun planned today? It's Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras. <laughs> I don't know if y'all celebrate that, but it's Mardi Gras today. Or I think another word is Fat Tuesday. Don't ask me why that, it's called Fat Tuesday, but Fat Tuesday. Is it because you eat a lot of food? Hold on, I'm checking. 
It's the translation. Um. Wow, you are uh very yellow, Kieran. You are a duck through and through. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Take this rope. Uh, can you hold on one moment? I can't take it. Hold on. You're back from speaking with Lee more than? I suppose you heard what happened between him and Jenna. Uh, it may be foolish, but I hope their relationship can recover. Oh, yeah. I remember. They broke up. I've known Jenna for a long time, since before the tragedy of Emane Maka. And in that time, her eyes have never been so bright as when she was with Lee Moore. Is her happiness truly too much to wish for? Anyway, that's the reason why I need your help. Please, if you would take a look at this, perhaps it will help you understand Jenna's feelings. Then, do you want to enter the shadow realm where Jenna's memory lingers? Oh, I have to do it now. Oh, I can say not ready yet. Okay. Okay. Why are you giving me that? I, I already have one. But I already have one, Kieran. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I do. I have it on. <laughs> I can't remember where I got it, but I got I've got one. It's yellow. Do you want this one? It matches you more. You're getting rid of it in your inventory? Oh. <laughs> well, sorry. I already have one. Done with work. Finished that batch from last Sunday. What batch? Playing with Legos and games for the rest of the day. Ooh, what Legos! What are you showing me? I wasn't showing you anything. Here, do you want this? <laughs> Mardi Gras is just Fat Tuesday in French. Oh! I said, oh, I see, I see. You said something yellow. This. This one that I have is yellow. It's the same thing. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, let me go focus on this now. All right, intermission. <laughs> it's the day before Lit starts, so that's why it's called Fat Tuesday. Ah, ooh, I'm Jenna. Look at me, guys. I'm Jenna. Jenna. Got some air baby, air berries. Uh, and some arrows. Oh, she can ha she can be an archer. Okay. All right. What am I doing here? Where am I? The heck? Do I go in here? -na 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 -na. Enter the great hall and defeat the corrupted alchemist. Okay. Um. All right. Achoo! I love dual dual wielding. Hold on, let's see. How do I smash? Does she have smash? Oh, it's on four. Ah! <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh shoot, I have to put the arrows on. Oh shoot! <laughs> no! Wait! Does she have crash shot? Oh! <gasps> Who's that guy? What's happening? Helvetius, you're alive? Who's Helvetius? Helvetius? Uh, did you expect any less from me? <laughs> I'm surprised to see that you survived even after learning the truth. What drove you to survive? Revenge? There is still a truth that I seek. Truth, you say? <laughs> it was in chasing after the truth of the Parthalonians that your father gave up his life. <gasps> no, perhaps you paid an even heftier price than death. This isn't the end. Oh, but it is, Jenna. But it is the end, Jenna. I've already accomplished my first goal, separating you from Lemur. All that is left now is for you to take your leave. Oh my god, he's burning her alive. <gasps> oh! 
Wait, what is she doing here? What? Ah! <laughs> Goddess Nimhane. Sexy Helvetius is Helvetica's cousin. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, <laughs> he got owned. <laughs> oh. Oh, she's casting a spell. Oh, she healed Jenna. Oh, oh yay, the goddess is on her side. That's nice. A human hanging on for dear life with nothing but to spare as company. How sad. How cruel, yes, but fascinating at the same time. I know about Elpha's death. You've lost your child, your only bloodline, yet I don't sense even the slightest hint of sadness from you. Is that because you're a goddess? Dang. I am not here as a deity. I can speak of light even in the midst of darkness because I, young one, still have a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream. I've been watching my Breath of the Wild VODs and then the detour to the Lego stable. Freaking loved when we did that. That was so much fun. Um, I have come before you because I sense the darkness within you. Everything I've believed in my entire life has been buried in darkness. I'm confused. I can't tell what's true anymore. You've seen the darkness. You understand how blinding it is. It, it, it suffocates me. Goddess, let me escape this darkness, please. Every action has its consequence. Your fate is no different. Come, follow me. I shall share with you the dream of Tirnanog, where your tears will be no more. The sadness and despair of this world shall become but a distant memory. Is this a trap? It's the font guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Alright, let's see. I like that the goddess was there to save her. Good timing. So she came because she sensed the darkness in Jenna. Interesting. Talk to Sinead in the Wrath Royal Castle reception room. Do I get like a feather? Oh my god, I do. Thank god. That's nice. It's like a uh, fast travel directly to the place we wanted to go. Nevin? Who's Nevin? Chichol has been known to cross dress in the past. <gasps> It's true! Oh no! No! It is Chichol, isn't it? Pretending to be the goddess. Ah! He's evil, man. He'll dress up as anybody. Everybody everybody will believe it too. Man, transformation is needs to be banned, man. Also, I'll be right back. Hold on, chat. Yeah, why would the goddess sense darkness if she's the goddess of... Wait, no, she... Wait, she's not the goddess of light, is she? That's Morgan. No, Morgan... Wait, no, she's the goddess... Crap, I already forgot. Oh, Nimhain is pronounced Nivan. Oh. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> she's the god of sensing. She's just a goddess in general, because she's pretty. All right, Siniad. All right, let's see. I have heard from Limor. She has started an investigation with Kai. He has started an investigation with Kai inside the ra the royal court shadow realm. Please use the tar altar to enter the royal castle shadow realm. All right, let's go meet Kai then. Hello, guys. Siniad must have contacted you. I was in the midst of searching for traces of the Calibert alongside Kai. My plan is to search Wrath Royal Castle, where the Calibert was initially located. Kylie, I need your help. We better hurry. 
Because Kylie, thanks to you, I got in touch with Lee Moore. With you helping me, I feel as if I have an army backing me up. Let's hurry. Okay. All right, let's do this. Don't worry, guys, I got this. OP Kylie. I wanna do, I wanna be a, a royal alchemist, guys. I like that pose. I don't know if I can be one though, but I'm gonna try. I know I think I have to apply on Saturdays or something. But I wanna do it. This is a very small room to fight in. <laughs> Let me get a puppet out so I can start collecting money. Kai is still alive. Did he get revived? Uh, yeah. I can't remember what happened, but he's alive. Is this thing alive? Nope. <clears throat> he's alive. Cheap leather. Oh. Don't worry, Royal Alchemist. I got this. Supreme Archer Kylie. Oh, last one. Oh, the big boy. What is she doing here? I have been watching you. I know you are here in search of the Calibern. The Calibern was a tool used by Anton Sim An Anton Simony. Simony to form this world to the god, the god of gods, all god. After creating the world, Anton left the Caliburn with a man named Partholon. Par Parthol 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 yeah, Partholon created the Caliburn altar and faithfully guarded the Caliburn. However, Partholon eventually fell to the formers and until the second battle of Mag Turid, when the Caliburn was returned to Wrath Royal Castle by Lug, the Knight of Light's triumph, the Caliburn rested with the Formers. Once the Caliburn returned to its rightful place, the world saw peace. But that peace was not to be, for the Caliburn disappeared from the Royal Castle, and now the Shadow Realm threatens Eren. Chichol spoke that the Caliburn would bring about the utter destruction of Eren. We can no longer deny that the destruction has begun. What was once shrouded in shadow has become clear. The Caliburn is a threat. For the Caliburn has been fused with another shadow, Corkle's heart, and together they breathe new life. The Caliburn has been forced to endure too many transformations, it has become unstable. Even now it is transforming into the Brionac, the sword of the gods. That doesn't sound good. Death is just a revolving door in fantasy. <laughs> wow, dang, the sword of gods. We have not much time. Already I can feel the heartbeat of the Brianna. Kylie, the task of returning the Calavern to the altar in wrath has been entrusted to you, a militia. If you cannot do it, then all is lost. <laughs> okay, Morgan. Thanks for that. Okay, I think I have to leave now. No pressure. No pressure indeed. Okay, what do we do now? Talk to Brianna in the Wrath Royal Castle music room. Ooh, music room. Okay. Brianna. Cute. You think, you must think it is strange that a young girl like me is interested in the Brianic. The truth of the matter is that I'm currently writing a new song entitled The Partholonian Prince. The inspiration comes, or came from our Ars Hela's friend, Buchanan. Oh, okay, yeah, who told me about a book called Brianic that tells of a race of people known as the Partholonians. The stories say that they love to laugh and sing more than anything in the world. There was a Partholonian prince named Tuan, admired by all, who loved a woman named 
Arianel. Arianel? Since Arianel was a commoner, Tuan gave up his right to the throne just to marry her. <gasps> oh. But one day, a devastating plague spread amongst the Partholonians. The people succumbed to the illness one after another, and Prince Tuan was powerless to stop it. Oh no, Arianel too eventually became ill with the plague and passed away in Prince Tuan's arms. The prince wept bitterly for his lost love. In the end, Prince Tuan was the only one among his people to survive the plague. Tragic, isn't it? It's the perfect inspiration for a song. If you want to know more about the story itself, talk with Butt Cheeks. He's in, Fer he's in Tier Chanel looking for the Book of Partholon. Last I heard, he was planning to investigate something in the CR dungeon. Take this pass. It should lead... It should let you enter the dungeon and find him. Actually, now that I think about it, the CR dungeon is pretty far from here, so take these wings of a goddess too. Hopefully, I'll have finished writing my song by the time you, you return. Have a nice day. Thank you. Where's this wing? Oh, here we go. This one, CR dungeon. So Brianna's interested in the Brianna act. <laughs> Indeed. The plague, man, it gets everybody. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Drop the artifact. Okay, which which one is the artifact? This one? Yeah, okay. Alright, enter the dungeon. Here we go. <laughs> Some quest designer got tired of naming things. <laughs> I feel like the Brionic sounds like something that was in history, though. I think it's just a coincidence that Brianna is the one that they chose. <laughs> it's funny, though. Brianna, Brianna. If you felt, if you were, if you were a king, would you fall in love with a commoner, guys? Would you give up your titles and everything for a person that you love? Would y'all do that? Thanks, doggy. How are you doing today? I feel like being a king would be too stressful. Or I guess a queen. Heck no, I would rule with an iron fist, okay? All right. Even if it's somebody you fell in love with and you don't like anybody else, Absolutely, yes. That's good to know, Ian. <laughs> I am part of a K-drama plot. It does fit a K-drama plot. <gasps> oh, wait. This isn't butt cheeks. This is a different butt cheeks. Okay. No, it is butt cheeks. Just kidding. Uh, Brianna must have told you where I'd be, though I guess it wouldn't have been hard to guess. I'd be in Tier Chanel searching for ancient books anyways. Uh, it's like searching for needles in a haystack. It's so hard to hunt down remnants of the Partholonians after so much time has passed. While staying at Pyrrha's Inn, I've met others also researching the Partholonians. No one seems to be having much luck. I have found a few books, though. The Partholonians seems, seem to believe that the Caliburn is not a fixed substance, but rather a living being that continuously changes form. The Brionic, the Holy Sword. That's the final evolved form of the Caliburn. The book spends pages and pages talking about it. It also seems the Partholonians use special magic to handle the Brionic, but that magic is now lost. I think that magic is the key to understanding the Partholonians. I need to return to Tara now. I think I finally got, I'm finally getting the answers I need. <clears throat> Interesting. Talk to Brianna. Do they give me? Yes. I like when they give me these wings. It saves so much time. Thank you. Okay, let's go to the music room. Oh, hi, Noelle. Don't have time for that. Gotta get those dailies done. <laughs> uh, Bachanon told you about Partholons. <laughs> Bachanon. Told you about the part, the lawns. <laughs> Brionic. Imagine that. The Brionic, the holy sword. That's also the sword, the lug 
uh, the Knight of Light used in battle. Some say Lugs Brionic was just named after the Partholonian Brionic of legend and doesn't really have any magical powers, but who knows? In any case, I'm almost done with my song. I just need to put a few more touches. But could you listen and tell me what you think? Ask her to play music. Oh, do I need to... That's pretty. Oh, this is the music. That's pretty. I like it. Well, what do you think? It was fant <laughs> It was mediocre at best. Should I click that option? <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> What the heck? Brianna's shredding that piano. Should I call it mediocre? What happens if you do? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. It was mediocre. It was that bad? I knew it. I knew my talent wasn't, well, wouldn't last forever. Now that I'm going to do, now what I'm going to do for the rest of my, now what am I gonna do for the rest of my life? I'm ruined. Oh dang, now I feel really bad. <laughs> Oh man, I'm mean. I wanted to know what she would say though. <laughs> It'll motivate her more. It did the opposite. All right, well, have fun with that, Brianna. Maybe she can uh, go under a new identity named Brianniak. <laughs> Brianna Anak. <laughs> Sinead. Oh, okay, I've received an urgent message from Butt Cheeks, who is inside the Shadow Realm. Details are scarce, but I would like you to investigate. I've also contacted Kai and Limor, just in case. All right, let's go in. Game over, you died. Can you imagine? That would so... Oh, that would suck. Okay, wait. Oh, I have to talk to them first. Okay. I received word that Butt Cheeks is in danger. I understand he was searching for clues about the Partholonians. I hope nothing has happened to him. Uh, the butt cheeks is really something. <laughs> that butt cheeks is really something. Roaming the shadow run by himself. We better hurry. Have you heard the news? Butt cheeks may be in danger. I've never, I've, or I've been worried since receiving the message from Siniad. We've delayed too long. Let's hurry. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Do I have to do the whole castle? We do, don't we? If I put my, this thing doesn't work in here, does it? I'm not sure. <clears throat> How nice though that they actually help. That's lovely. Thanks for helping Kai and Limor. But I've got this. Go do the other rooms while I do these rooms. They're not gonna listen to me though, because they're NPCs. Ah, there they are! Later storylines have you res your responses affect how characters see you, and you can get different titles at the end based on your answers? <gasps> really? <laughs> Hi, Chaos! <laughs> Thanks for the 111 months. Wow. Thank you. How are you doing today? <laughs> Good morning. Wow, 111. Jeez. How many how many years is that? How many years? How many months is 10 10 years again? Oh. It's a lot. Is it okay if you keep ignoring Jai like you were yesterday? What? <laughs> what? Work sorting stuff in. Uh oh, you're working right now. You're sorting stuff. I hope that's going well. Let's see. This one's such an interesting. I think if I hit 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 the blue or hit the white orbs, Kai, hit the white orbs, buddy. What are you doing? Don't follow me. Oh my god, worse people. Worst people to go into a mission with. Ah, oh, they just stand there. 
<laughs> but I wasn't ignoring anybody. Or at least I wasn't. I can't. I, I had to. <laughs> Actually, I take that back. I had to ignore. Because I had, uh. How many of us were we? Was that six people? There were so many things happening. It was also a sponsored stream. There we go. None of them did it. No! Easy, I can watch stuff while I work. Oh, that's nice. I'm happy you're here. I wonder if it was called the Dark Ages because there were so many nights. What? What do you mean by, by that? Like, Dark Nights? Oh, because nights. <laughs> Wait, I get it. <laughs> It took me a bit. No! No, I get it! I get it! <laughs> I get it! <laughs> Sorry, I was taking it too literal. Because <laughs> there's dark nights in this game. <laughs> Stop! Easy. Go pick up that other cheap leather. Thank you. I love these doll bags. I love that they pick up stuff for you. All right, where do I go now? I think this way. Did this door open? I think this door opened. Uh, wait, did I? Are there? Oh, oh, yep. Okay, so I need to go back. <laughs> back here. Let's start. Let's start back here and go work our way to the left. Where did Limor and Kai go? Now they're like totally missing. The eyes of service have started to glow purple. What does purple do? Oh, poison, maybe? Poison. Oh, look, there they are. <laughs> Specky. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, let's see. It's so quiet. I wish there was music. Where's the tarim? Dungeon music. It's just me silently hitting everything. Start beatboxing. Starts beatboxing poorly. Hey, it's better. Hey, I think that's great. Better than the music that probably would be Agna. <laughs> if only I could hear it in real life. I bet you beatbox beautifully. I bet you boots and cats perfectly. You know what's gonna happen? Jenna's gonna turn evil. Just like Kai was. Ta Kai turned, well, yeah, Kai turned evil. I still don't remember, how did Kai, how did Kai survive again? Did they explain that? Maybe that's why I can't remember. They didn't explain it properly. Oh my God, stop changing! Um, okay, which, oh, in here? The treasure room. <laughs> Soul? <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay, let's see. The, oh, I collected the shuttle wizard. I need two more for those. I spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out how to. Oh, there he is! Trying to figure out transformation stuff. I spent hours like leveling it up so that I can transform into a leprechaun. 
Hi, Majonis. Good morning. I'm trapped in my bed because my cat is asleep. Oh, well, that's just the rules. Also, that sounds so nice. <laughs> mm. You're here. Good. Do you... Do you remember what I told you before? After we spoke, I continued to search for clues about the ancient magic of the Parthalonians. Well, it's good that he's safe. I had to go through all of the dungeon just to realize that he wasn't in any danger. I finally found a lead. We need to get the Book of Parthalon. It contains everything we need to know about their ancient magic. I've tracked the book down to the armory in the Shadow Realm. I tried to grab it myself, but the former's got in my way. This guy just needs to, like, let us know when he's going to go on these escapades so that we can just go with him. I figured the shadow hero who defeated Clammy Solus might be better equipped to handle the formers. At my age, my smash just ain't what it used to be. Here's what you need to know. To get to the book, you have to pass through a restaurant which hides a secret device. The mechanism that opens the door only works when the orbs are touched in a certain order. I, will, I was able to discover that order. Ah, one, two, three, four. Take a look at this map and follow the instructions. If you make a mistake and touch the orbs out of order, you'll be in a lot of trouble. I risked my neck 24 times to get this info, so I know it's correct. 24 times? All right. Do y'all remember the order? Because I just forgot it. Okay, let's talk to Siniad. Regardless of what else happened, I'm relieved that uh, Butt Cheeks is okay. As for that special device in the Shadow Realm, I have heard reports about it from the Royal Guard before. I will hit, I will help you so that you can approach the area more easily. Ah, oh, yes. You are looking for the Book of Parthlon, right? I'm afraid Limor and Kai already left. Shall I send you to the Shadow Realm to find them? Yeah, I guess so. All right. Talk to them again. I've heard of the Book of Parthalon, but I'm not sure if it's at the location Butt Cheeks mentioned. Uh, the map the Butt Cheeks showed, Butt -cheeks showed you, you, you wrote the information down, right? Oh, there we go. One, two, three. Okay, I got it. I got it. I remember now. I figured they would just give it to me when I needed it. Oh my god, I have to do all this over again? Could I have brought people? The order is uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, of course. <laughs> Thank you for that. Cat law is the best. Oh, I miss that. I miss waking up to Blue cuddling with me. That was that was so nice. Cats just enrich your lives. They make your life so much better. They cut when they cuddle with you in the morning. Ugh. I love it. <laughs> trying to trying to kill them before the service thing goes off. <sighs> it's fun. It's Kind of funky how they're going to the opposite, or upside down. They're going to the upside down in the castle. Uh, that they are already in the light world version of. Wait, what do you mean? The upside down, you're referring to like, Stranger Things, right? <laughs> like how they, it's like the same world, but the upside down. Or, or is that something, is that a different TV show? I know what you're talking about, though. My roommate has a cat. You're right. I have to be on guard when I go into the living room to watch for a cat attack. Oh, no. <laughs> Does the cat not like you? Or is it, like, play fighting? <laughs> I'm hoping it's play fighting. There's this super cute cat I follow on Instagram. The owner always posts like the cutest videos. She's like this giant, fluffy, super fluffy rag doll. And she, what she does is she like hides behind something and then jumps out and like, not attacks, but like kind of like scares, like jump scare. She doesn't hurt her owner, of course. Um, but she's so funny. She thinks that she's hiding <laughs> and she's really not hiding at all. 
Like she's behind this really thin plant. <laughs> and you can just see her going like, I'm waiting. <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. Or when she was behind a curtain. <laughs> oh, I love that cat. Hi, bard guy. Hello. How are you doing? Like they're just popping in and out of the shadow realm in the castle. Oh. <laughs> Buckley loves to jump scare and is mostly blind, so he doesn't know how bad he is at hiding. <laughs> oh, what a sweet baby. No, she's just playing. She likes to jump out and paw at my leg. Oh, see, that's exactly what the cat I, I follow does. My cats don't, never did that. Um, normally it's just a bap on the leg, but sometimes those claws are out and it's cute and I, I play with her, so I don't mind when she nicks me. <laughs> okay, also, what direction? Is it this direction? I'm gonna assume it's this direction. Okay, here we go. We're getting the book, guys. Vibing for the moment before work. Oh, I have. A, hope you have a good day of work. Wait, what is this supposed to do now? Oh, to go in here? Oh, okay, we still fight. Okay. Trying to find a book, apparently. I'm gonna guess the... Oh! I'm gonna guess the book is at the very end. Oh, this opened now. Okay, let's go all the way down and fit. Oh, nope, never mind. All right. Oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, I thought they were help, helping me. What the heck? I like how I one-shot all these guys. I'm so strong. Okay, let's hope it's this way that I go. Yes. Is this where the book is? Oh. Oh, Mata. What is he doing here? So we meet again, Malishin. Has the scent of the ancient Parthalonians brought you here as well? Oh, there's music now. <laughs> Mata. He brought an army. I can't sit idly by while the Calibern fall into the hands of a militia. The Calibern always belongs to the formers. Oh boy. Even Cheechol, the king of the formers, warned of the devastation that Aaron could face. This danger applies to human and former alike. Oh yeah. I forgot Cheechol said that. Silence! Cheechol is no longer our king. <gasps> He is nothing but a coward who has forsaken the former ideal. So wait, maybe that wasn't Chichol pretending to be Nivon. N Nimhain, that lady. Hi, Lid Lidica. Hello. Getting so strong. I'm almost 20k. I've gotten... <gasps> Today I can become a grand al grandmaster alchemist. Oh, I need to do that today. So Chichol's not their king anymore? You will not escape this place! Crush out! Crush out! Crush out! Stop! Oh! Whoa, who's that? Python king? Pa Python knight? You who defiled the holy land, be gone! Who? To them? Oh! Whoa! 
Look at his. Whoa, that's curvy. Whoa. Whoa. Sugoi, man. Look, he killed all of them. The sword of Robro. Robus. Robus. Sorry, not Robros. <laughs> Or Uroboros, Uroboros. I know that sword. You're not. You can't be. Oh! Goodbye, Mata. Wow. Identify yourself. You are neither human nor former. What are you? I belong in the boundary between light and shadow. That is all you need to know for now. Ooh, how mysterious. The gods are a race with greed that stretches as long as their endless lives. You seem to have inherited their vile powers. Do you wish to become a god yourself or do you merely wish for human power? Time will tell. Is he talking to me? Oh, you may simply become a monster, neither human nor god. Kylie, I will entrust the pages of the Partholonians to you. I will be watching you. We will meet again in the near future. Well, then. <laughs> that doesn't bode well. The formers acted as the, usual, as the usual act. But I'm worried about the Python Knight. Who is he? I think I'll investigate the Python Knight and find out what I can. Leave more. Kylie, please continue investigating the Partholonian magic. I don't know. Am I going to turn into a monster? Ouroboros. Why, there we go. I got the book. Can I read the book? Oh. Oh, I need the pages. Wait, he didn't give me me. He didn't give me the pages? Wait, can I leave now? Oh, complete. Okay, I think I can. Oh, Adam, were you sick yesterday? I'm sorry to hear that. The, so the sword of aerobics. <laughs> of course, there has to be a Robros reference. Is it a Robros? But it's not, it's just, it's spelt differently. But is it the same? Talk to Sinead, okay. So, this is the so-called book of Partholon. But Cheeks mentioned it many times. I can read a little of the Partholonian language, but I'm nowhere as adept at as Butt Cheeks or Ars Hela. Unfortunately, I cannot let or I cannot make any sense of the book. It suffered too much damage. Perhaps Arzila would have more luck. Have her take a look, please. Who is Oh, she's in the library. Okay. To the library. Here we go. Are you calling him butt cheeks? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all. Me and Kat are rocking some gnarly colds. Oh no. I'm doing better today, thankfully. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you guys feel better soon. All right, Arzila. You have the book? I've been waiting anxiously ever since I got a word from Siniad. Now, a moment, please. Let me take a look. Why, this appears to be the genuine book of Partholon. This book is supposed to contain the records of the Partholonians, protectors of the Caliburn. This book may be the key to revealing the secrets of the ancient magic of the Partholonian race. Before we can discover anything, we must first restore the book. Too many pages are missing or faded beyond recognition. You'll have to retrieve the missing pages from the Shadow Realm. I believe, I believe Siniad mentioned something about utilizing leprechauns in cases like this. What? Leprechauns? What? Talk to Siniad. Do I have to go kill tons of leprechauns again? Maybe I should have waited. I spent like a whole day trying to catch or trying to get the transformation skill to turn into a leprechaun, so I had to kill so many. According to reports from the Royal Guard inside the Shadow Realm, the leprechauns who live in the Royal Castle Shadow Realm are like pack rats. 
They collect whatever they can get their grubby little hands on, especially Partholonian artifacts. Perhaps you can obtain the missing pages of the Book of Partholon from them. I will give you a mission for it. Then shall I send you in the Shadow Realm to collect the book? Enter. Okay. All right, time to go hunt down some leprechauns. <laughs> oh, actually, Ouroboros is another way to spell it. Oh, so it is Ouroboros. <gasps> Leprechaun! Got him. He didn't drop anything. You don't want to kill them. You need a free hand. Oh, oops. Wait, what? Wait, what do you mean don't kill them? Oh, no, I killed one. Oops. Okay, my bad. I should probably read. <laughs> oh, no. Are there gonna be any more that appear? Oh, shoot. Does that mean I have to redo it? If I killed one by accident? <clears throat> you have to pet, you have a pet knock them down and gather from them. Can I just like punch them? And then that'll knock them down? I feel like my punches aren't that strong. You can punch. <laughs> okay. All right. Time to go punch a leprechaun. Best if you leave and just keep doing the first room. Oh, can I do that? Okay, leave. And then talk to her again and enter. Ah, that is faster. Okay. Let's just do that then. All right, Leprechaun. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Okay, he's knocked down now. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, this is funny. Oh. Okay, well, I got two pages. <laughs> Wait, no. It's not hacking, it's just uh, using it to your advantage. What is that sound? I got page three, page four, page seven. <gasps> Lucky bonus! Oh, it gave both two pages. Dang. <laughs> Wait, how many pages are there? Also, where are they? Oh, here we go. So, four, three, seven, Two. Oh wait, it's seven pages. Just kidding. Seven pages. This was a good idea, Rain. Thank you. Try Firebolt. Oh, should I try Firebolt? Okay. Magic. Firebolt. Oh, perfect. Ooh, and it makes their hits HP HP don't go doesn't go down that much. What number is this? One? Perfect. Oh, it gave me a page three. I already picked that one up, didn't I? I guess it's random what you get. I need page five and Oh, I already have two. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, he's out of treasure. Oh, he's out of treasure. Get out of here, then. You're useless. All right, let's put the page one in here. What does it say? Oh, it's just that. Okay, page. So we need five and six. Okay, so five and six. Hi, Basie. Ran into their room, punched them to the ground, and then stole their stuff. <laughs> I am mean. These poor leprechauns were just living, like just surviving, man. <laughs> I do feel a little bad. It's okay. I'm gonna be, you know what? They're gonna get their revenge on me in in a way because I have a, a, a an event plan where I'm gonna turn into a leprechaun and you guys have to find me. Please don't punch me though. Um, I'll have, I have money for you. So basically you'll be taking the leprechaun's money away when you find the leprechaun. That probably doesn't make any sense, but basically, <laughs> Oh, magic mastery. Uh, but basically, I'm just doing an event where you have to come and find me, and I'm transformed as a tiny little leprechaun. And you have to find me in the world. Some places will be really easy. Some places won't be, though. It'll be fun. I can't wait. I wish, I wish St. Patrick's Day would be here already. Oh, dang it. It's already out of treasure. Okay, we just need page five now. All right. Punch Kylie for money. No, not that. You just have to trade me. <laughs> Did I hear it? Let's go punch some leprechauns. You heard correctly. Well, technically, we're fire bolting them now. Is that page five? Nope. How is he all out of treasure? That's a lie. Is it because he was just getting up? Stay away from me. Never. Dang it, stop dropping page three. <laughs> this is so mean. <gasps> page five? Page seven? I already have page seven, right? You know what, now that I think about it, I probably didn't need to kill him. I probably, the, 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 Phrase kept popping up just because he was sitting up. Or maybe no, it was. Trading is just a businessman woman's punch. <laughs> I have page seven, right, guys? It's just six that I need. No, five. I need five. Yeah, he didn't drop it. Okay. Pages that she doesn't need fire starters. <laughs> oh, wait, why do I keep putting there? Got him. Is his treasures and his little urn? <gasps> Dang it! Is that page? Dang it. Drop page five, jerk! I'm so mean. <laughs> CJ. Uh, I haven't been paying attention. How many pages does, uh, how many pages can I extract from his little urn? Which is, okay, I think it's only three. Cause that was, that was lucky. Okay. Okay, there's, that's only three. It's only three. So I'll just remember after three, just leave. 
Aw, oh, thank you, Prue. I actually need to go use a restroom. If this is like an ancient rare book, how do they have multiple of the same page? Right? I don't know. He's such a cute baby. Hooray for nephew. Yeah, we're celebrating his birthday um, this Saturday, but today's his birthday. That's so cute. I sent him a little happy birthday message. Whoa, 416. I sent him a little birthday message this morning. So he was like, I saw your message, Aunt Lily. It was cute. <laughs> it's going to be a Cars theme birthday with Lightning McQueen. <laughs> Stop dropping page three. My nephew doesn't call me. Well, I mean, as I said, it's my sister that called me. It's <laughs> cute. Quirty! Hi! I think it was three, right? Thank you so much for the 75 months. Happy birthday to Kylie's nephew. <laughs> Thank you. Happy anniversary, fairy fam. Happy anniversary. Are you sure? I keep forgetting what page it is. You sure it's not page page six? Dang it, okay, page five. Page five, Kylie, page five. Page five, why isn't he dropping page five, darn it? Do I have to like go to the end boss to, to do page five? Happy birthday to him. <laughs> five, 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 okay. I sent my nephew an edible arrangement for his 16th birthday a couple weeks ago. Ooh, that's nice. Edible arrangement? I haven't had one of those. Are they good? Sounds like a fun gift to get. The gift of food. Come on, page five. Oh, page five! I got it! Okay, hold on, let me kill it. Yay, he dropped it. That's the last one I needed. Okay. All right. I am I am done. What do I do now? Do I have to read it? Oh, collect reward. There we go. Yay. I got a Parthalon square. Okay, I think I leave now. You have given me what I wanted. Now die, dude. <laughs> Oh, there we go, okay. You have the Parthalon stone, Miss Kylie. I've heard tales that ancient magic is contained within the book of Parthalon. Sometimes special artifacts even come forth from it. In any case, this Parthalon stone seems to be composed of an unusual mineral. Perhaps Belita, a member of the Royal Geological Society, could shed some light on it. I studied with her in a main maca, so tell her I sent you. Okay, Belita. And Kalita. <laughs> Balita and Kalita. The fruit slash chocolate bouquet went to him at school. Oh, oh, that's the best. Was it able to fit in his locker? Oh, that's the best though. That's like one special way to make you feel really loved. At least it, it would be for me. If I ever got gifts, I still remember back back when uh it was like my birthday in middle school my friend brought me this like gigantic gigantic teddy bear which was so nice for my birthday and i just hurled it around and i felt so special i was like hee 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 this is my gift because it's my birthday <laughs> and i couldn't put it in my locker right because it was huge so i had to just hold carry it around but it was nice Sinead sent you? The name sounds familiar, but I don't quite... Oh, bookworm Sinead, of course. Oh, wait, I have multiple music going on here. Let me pause this music then. There we go. Um, bookworm Sinead, of course. I went to school with her in Maine. She always had her nose stuck in a book. I don't know if I ever really spoke to her, though. Forget Sinead. I'm more interested in the Parthalon stone. While I attempt to unravel the secret behind the stone, I would... I want you to do me a favor. See, see, men are scum. I don't trust them. That attitude is probably why I'm still single. And I blame Lucas for it. 
You know what kind of guy he is. Lucas? Uh, I want vengeance. Hand him this letter. I'll lure him out of his hole. And I'm sure you can find out what happens next. Whoa, what happened? Wow. What happened? <laughs> Wait, what? So who's Lucas? Belita's letter? It's uh, sealed with a red rose. It was given to you by Belita. B -b -b okay. Be careful not to misplace the letter. Who's Lucas? Oh my god, is this another random occurrence where we have, like, some some tea? Do you know what I mean? You carefully open the letter. Dear Miss Kylie, how are you? I am... Wait, oh wait, this isn't the letter. What is that? Oh, this is for something else. <laughs> wait, that's not the letter. Where's... The... There's the letter! <laughs> Oops! Oh, I wanted to read it. That was a different, I was like, oh, here we go. I was like, wait, it's addressed to me? Okay, uh, give a to Lucas. Oh, of a main. Oh, he's the bar. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, what did he do to Belita to make her hate men? Let's find out, shall we? It's, it's sometimes Mavro is so random with these quests. <laughs> It, it feels like we just celebrated his first birthday with a smash cake not that long ago. Now he's in high school. <laughs> I feel like as aunts and uncles, we don't get to see them as much, right? So they grow even faster. And it breaks my heart because I'm like, no, don't grow. Stay little. Seeing all the wine in your inventory made me realize I forgot to do mine yesterday. <gasps> oh, no. How much of a hit is it if you forget? Happy birthday, Jonah. <laughs> I'll let him know, Adam. <laughs> a girl asked you to deliver this letter? Well, as a gentleman, I cannot refuse her request for a date. And she wants to meet and take a dungeon? She must have unique taste. <laughs> Tell her I'll meet her in an instance of the Pekka Dungeon cre created by Offering. Did I read that right? What in the world is this? What? Tell her I'll meet her in an instance of the Pekka Dungeon created by Offering Underwear upon the altar. That ought to get her blood pumping. Please give her these wings of a goddess as well. I've got impeccable manners when it comes to women, you see. I can't have my date tire herself out just traveling to the rendezvous point. What? What the heck? Teach Lucas a lesson in the Pekka dungeon? Drop the underwear set on the Pekka dungeon? What? Oh my god! What? What is this quest? <laughs> what in the world? He's a perv. Is that why Belita hates men? It's because she ran into this guy? Okay, so I have to, I have to drop the underwear set at the Pekka Dungeon altar to enter the dungeon and meet Lucas. Underwear set can, oh, I already have one. Oh, I guess they give it to me. What the heck? <laughs> That's so weird. All right. Okay. Is it because this dungeon's like really hard or? It says teach him a lesson. How do I teach him a lesson? <laughs> I'll get there. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I remember singing I remember her singing me happy birthday when she was two. Oh, Oh man, that's real. Our niece is turning 16 this year. I know. Wow, 
about 16. <laughs> and you were like, I remember when she was singing to me. Oh, a gathering act. This seems like a really hard dungeon to do back then. Mechanically, you're clearing this dungeon commando. Will be cool forever. That is true. That is the one good thing. They may they may age fast, but at least they'll always love us. <laughs> and we'll be cool. <laughs> I don't think it's their underwear. Back then, yeah, this was one of the hard dungeons. How did you even clear this? Potion concoction kit. Wait, where'd it go? Oh. Arthless? I don't think that's good. <sighs> the estimation mark follow age command doesn't work. You just click on your username and you can see how long you've been following. Oh, that was long. That was short. Not a long one. Oh, there he is! What is he doing? Oh, find your perfect partner. Blondes, brunettes, redheads. Whatever your preferen preference, we've got the perfect match. <laughs> what is that pose? <gasps> Anonymous, you dirty scumbag. Belita's plan worked perfectly. Who are you? Seven years ago, on the roof of the Amain Maka Observatory, do you remember? How could I possibly remember something that happened seven years ago? <laughs> Fair. <laughs> seven years ago, you destroyed the innocence of a young girl? What did he do? What, what are you talking about? The girl was named Belita. Don't pretend you don't remember her. I don't, I, I really don't know. I don't remember, I don't know. Belita? I don't know, I'm scared. Liar. Am I pretending to be her? Your lies are what made that girl come back for revenge. I will execute her revenge and her steed, her stead. Ah! Wait, am I fighting him now? Oh my God. Oh, he weak. What? I command you in the name of uh, the in the name the bar owner. Stop. In the name of the bar owner. Oh, stop! Please leave me alone. I just came to have a good time with some girl. Why are you doing this to me? You want money? How much do you want? This is all I've got. Take it. Take it. Just leave me alone. Money cannot mend a broken heart. So this is the type of person you are, Lucas. You're worthless. Now that I've seen what kind of lowlife scum you are, there is no need for me to deal with you any longer. What in the world? <laughs> what? What did he do? <laughs> What? Ooh, money. Got an enchant scroll. Do you think it's good? Let me know if this enchant scroll is good. Uh, Viper. Is Viper good? Whoa, this took a turn. I'm telling you, there's like moments in these generation story quests that are so random. Sometimes they're so funny though. Um... Like the the love triangle, that one was funny. With the girl, what is with Kalita? Everything, ever all the juicy gossip tea is all the people in Kalita. Like what? What is going on? The panty raid got deadly. I never really fully understood this part. Why he doesn't know who we are or anything? Yeah, I don't. I miss this scene because because of ads. You should sub Miguel. <laughs> um, thank you, Warden. 
I, I mean, to be fair, I don't even know what happened. It's like, it's just said anonymous. So I guess we are supposed to be anonymous? Were we just like reading what Belita wanted us to read to him? I don't know. That was weird. But apparently he did something to break Belita's heart. But that's, I guess, it. Maybe there'll be more information. I don't know if Viper's good. I'm gonna keep it though, just in case. Whenever I need to level up enchant, enchanting, I'll do it. Subs don't get ads. Subs don't get ads. <laughs> Bless me. What's up, people? Hi, Orca! Alright, we need to go back to Kalita now. <laughs> it was so weird. He broke her heart. We break his knees. Yeah. Don't mess with Belita, man. <laughs> so I guess maybe he invited her. They were gonna go on a date to like in a main and maybe he like left her and or didn't show up or something. Maybe that's what happened. Do you think I let a jerk like Lucas break my heart? I'm ashamed of my own foolishness, but since you helped me get revenge, take this Parthlon crystal. I got it from refining and analyzing the Parthlon stone. I've never seen anything like it. A powerful erg emanates from such a little thing. Okay, well, they never really went into that, but okay. Fine, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Shock! Talk to City Ad. Okay. Oh, shock. Dang it. I wish they went into that a little bit more. So random. I'm shocked. <laughs> Thanks, Marka. Was Belita doing well? In any case, no, she was not. In any case, I have heard from Limor. He's done with his alchemy research and heard you obtain the Parthalon crystal. He wishes to speak to you in person. Okay. I need a few more materials to perform the ancient Partholonian magic using alchemy. The formers are conducting experiments at the square. Obtain from them one dark oil, one stone crystal, one magic crystal, and one unstable darkness crystal. Uh, okay, from the square. Doran's request. Oh! I'm not dropping anything. Darkness Crystal next. Golem. Ah. Stone Crystal. All right, I need one more. There we go, Magic Crystal. Go give this to the dude now. Here you go, Lemon. My research on Parthlonian magic is almost complete. Thanks to the documents from Butt Cheeks. All I need now are the Parthlon crystals you brought. This is my first time trying to perform ancient magic under using alchemy, so it's a bit of trial and error. While I haven't mastered it, I think I can do a decent job. The feathers. <gasps> Morgan. I 
I didn't think that you would be able to use alchemy to recreate the ancient Partholonian magic so perfectly. Better than I could have hoped for. But you must hurry. I'm worried about Navon's plans for the Brionic. Oh, is that the Brionic? Navon's plans? Are you saying that Navon is up to something again? I thought Navon gave up on her dreams after Elitha's death. Elitha's death has only made Navon's will stronger. Navon will try to complete her dream of Tirnanog with no other reason than that Elitha's death will not have been in vain. So I don't think she... I think that really is her. She's just turned the dark side, I guess. But the ideals of Tirnanog that Navon's vision is not the truth. Her dreams will only bring about death and destruction. Gosh darn these gods, man. The Caliburn has already been given to Air, the spirit of water, and has evolved to the Brionic, the Holy Sword. Navon will do anything to get her hands on the Brionic. If we can't stop Navon, there's no telling what the future holds. There's no time to delay. How do we get to the water spirit? Hi, Sangster! It's going well. How is y'all's Tuesdays going? Do y'all like me streaming on Tuesday? Is it a good time for y'all to watch? Oh. oh, there we go. Prevent the Calibern from evolving into the Brionic. Uh, how do I do that? Oh, please go see Air, the Spirit of Water. Yeah, oh. That's not suspicious. Uh, <laughs> I hate when I see that. It's so awkward when it happens. Uh, I've talked to her before, G2. Air, air, air. Oh, 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 the, oh! The little mermaid looking lady. Um. Wait, where was Seal Island, right? I think she was in Seal Island. Hi, Whirly. Happy Tuesday. Hello. I like every day you're streaming. Thanks, Becky. That was a lot of cousins. They all move in sync, but sync possible. Sync. In sync. There we go. She's here, right? There we go. Oh, I remember. Oh, there's Jenna. I've come on behalf of the goddess of light to take the Brionic. Oh, spirit of water, please give me the Brionic. Oh no, Jenna! Don't do it! The fragments of the Caliburn, which were separated into two worlds have finally become one. Here the Brionic, which was once the Caliburn. Whoa, look at it. It's like a giant spear. I was merely safeguarding the Brionic. A mere spirit like me dare not touch it. But Jenna, please remember the Caliburn is also called the Light of the Dark Sun. Take this as a warning. You may be, you may one day be covered in the darkness of the dark sun. That doesn't sound good. Uh oh, this isn't good. Oh <gasps> no! You mustn't give the Brionic to Navon. The Brionic represents not just my will, but the will of Navon, the goddess of light, to bring forth Tirnanog. It's no use. Stand in my way and I'll have no choice but to use my sword on you. <gasps> she said, wait, you know, all of this is because of a guy. She turned dark because Limor didn't want anything to do with her. <gasps> but I think that that was a trick. I don't know if that really was him saying that. Or maybe it was, I can't remember. Stand in my way, I'll have no choice but to use a sword on you. <gasps> Chicho! Drop the Brionic, Jenna! Chicho! Chicho, you know better than anyone that the Brionic was used to destroy the gods. 
Chicho, do you not fear death? Do you not, did you learn that from Nimhe or Nivon? Then you must also know the details of the goddess's dreams for Tirnanog and how that dream will turn into a nightmare. Somehow Chichol is on our side now. <laughs> this is so confusing. Navon has become so fixated on her own agenda that she fails to see the devastation the Brionic will bring. No, the Brionic will not bring about the beginning of Tirnanog. Rather, it will usher in its annihilation. I don't know what you're talking about, Chichol. All I know is that a god will soon die, right before my eyes. Uh-oh. She's charging up, guys! How do you know the magic of the Parthalonians? That power! Did Navon grant it to you? Ah! Oh no! Chichol! Well, no offense, though. He's This is kind of karma, but still. Navon's prophecy that Elitha's revenge will come from the Brionic is finally coming true. <gasps> Jenna! Has Navon won? It appears that my time has come to an end. Oh, dang! Foolish goddess, greed has blinded you from the truth. How ironic, the survivor of the formers will depend on you. Oh, wow, he died! <coughs> Wait, what's going on? What is he doing to me? Is he like giving me his last powers before he dies? Whoa! He realized he was dumb and now he's on our side. It was too, too late. I give you the power of Chichol. You now possess the power of the formers, the power of strength and so something, something annihilation. Couldn't read it that fast. Oh, it's Limor. He's come to help me. Wait, now I have Chichol's powers. Whoa. Wait. I can command the formers with his powers? Or maybe not. He doesn't want Tiernanog destroyed. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's sad. He died. Poor guy. Well, no, I don't, I don't, no, poor, not poor guy. He gave us a lot of hell through generation one, two, and three, so never mind. <laughs> Dungeons are about to be easy as heck. <laughs> I have the power of two gods on my side. You're awake! It's a good thing Lemur found you while searching for Jenna. Who knows what would have happened if he hadn't. He just left after making sure you were going to be okay. If only he came sooner, you know? Because she probably wouldn't have killed him. Based on the information verified at Temple Knight Lair, something huge is going to happen. Madrona, that is really kind of you. Thank you for thank you for sub gifting to Miguel. That was really sweet. Thank you, Madrona. It's nothing skill based, just more of a story thing. Cause now you have two god powers, and the god mask guy was asking if you were trying to become a god, and that you might become a monster. <gasps> True. The the gold knight guy. Oh yeah. Something huge is going to happen. I can feel it. I've heard whispers of a strange erg emanating from within the Shadow Realm. Before he left, Limor said you should wait for him to contact you. I hope he and Jenna stay safe. May the protection of Limelark be upon them both. Okay. Ooh, where am I at in G11? Ooh! Okay. Um... Wait, where am I? Oh, here we go. I'm at the end of four. We're almost done. Talk to Colin. Hey, Colin. I've just got word from Limor. He didn't go into detail, but it seems Jenna is inside the Shadow Realm. Since Limor asked for your help specifically, I suspect the situation is quite dire. Please, Kylie, will you help Jenna? I'll enter. All right, let's go help Jenna. I'm glad to see that you're almost fully recovered. I suspect that strange erg is coming from somewhere near the western waterfall. The Navon ritual is taking place there. If that ritual is a ritual to purify Tiranog with the Brionic, I have a bad feeling that Jenna may be in serious danger. We better get going soon. Jenna in danger. Wait, what?
waterfall. There's the waterfall. Tirnanog will be purified. Oh no. By the light of the caliber and transformed as the Brionic. Oh no. Jenna! This is the final ritual for the purification of Tirnanog. Do not interfere. Tell me. Just who is this Tirnanog meant for? What benefit does humanity get from calling forth Tirnanog? No, to protect what is most precious to me, I will stand against the goddess. Oh, foolish human, you are so weak, and yet you attempt to show such valor. Don't worry, I got it. While Limor is, and Limor is holding Nimmin back, use this shock skill on yourself to infuse yourself with the power of electricity and then defeat then defeat the Brionic in the center. Shock? Oh, how do I use the shock skill? Oh. Oh. Whoa, that's weird. Oh, was I too late? Leave more! Oh, Jen has awake. And now he's asleep. <laughs> no! Wait, what? Navon, move aside, or else the Brionic will see to your end. I swear it. <gasps> Jenna, aren't you the one who chose the path of light and you wish to wipe away darkness? A world without pain or suffering is at hand. I'm going to summon forth that world. Would you forsake that paradise? Would you give up on Tirnanog, all for some worthless human emotions? Human emotions aren't worthless! <laughs> Mommy Navon is back. She's, she's so pretty, why does she have to do this, man? I finally understand. The pain from my past, even my hopes for the future, they are nothing compared with the truth I must defend now. Wow. Foolish human, you are blinded by a fleeting illusion. You will regret your decision. <gasps> now we have to fight her? Oh no. Oh, she disappeared. N oh, next quest, we're gonna have to fight her. Oh no. Take care of the Brionic. Wait, me? What are you gonna do? What? Whoa, I got... Man, I'm getting really powerful. <laughs> I have a demigod. I have uh, Cheech Hole's powers. I have the Brionic. Jeez. There it is. Can I like... Oh. Wait, do I need to go to Kalita? I don't... I need a... I don't know what to get rid of in this <laughs> thing. Okay, well, I got the... Do I put it on now? Oh. Can I not wear it? It's a weapon. The Holy Sword. What is this? The Location of Destiny. What? Goddess Nita, return the Brianna. Enter the Location of Destiny mission by clicking the Taurus on hinge. Return the Brianna to where it belongs. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Alright, gotta... I gotta go... Turn it in. <laughs> How is she already unaware of that, though? That we already are in paradise. Doesn't, doesn't she talk to her sister? Don't they communicate? I guess not. Perhaps that's the whole point of Mabinogi. They paved paradise to put in a parking lot. <laughs> what? That's what Gold Armor was saying. You're getting all these god items and powers. It's the whole absolute power corrupts. Absolutely. Am I gonna turn corrupt? What? Oh, 
Oh, that's a Tara Stonehenge. Oh, I went to Tail Tan. Got confused. <laughs> I can fix her. <laughs> oh my god. And Mabby Paradise AFK fishing. Can I use the what is shock like? How does shock work? It's kinda cool. How do you even level it? Talk to Held and Tar about skills. So I just like use it on myself and then I just punch people. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, I think I did it wrong. Oh, how did shock work, guys? Good skill you never remember to use. This seems super sped up from what I remember. I think it's just because I'm really strong. Right? And it probably was harder back then. So it took longer to finish the missions. At least that's what I'm assuming. They charge is like the spe special sword. It's good for setting up crash shot if enemies are around you. Was I doing it wrong? Was I doing it where you just... Am I supposed to cast it on the enemy instead? Here, hold on. Do I cast it on the enemy? Or do I still cast it on myself? Oh, and they shortened it? Is that why we didn't get the full picture with Belita? <laughs> Uh, oh. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, it doesn't last very long, but that's probably because I'm novice at it. Okay, okay. It worked, though. It worked. Okay. This music is, is... I like it. In what way did they shorten it? Did they shorten it by giving me all those wings? Because that was helpful. Oh, here we go. <gasps> Do we have to fight him now? No, I like him. I promise, I promise we'd meet again. Kyla, you've acted exactly as I ex expected. I got rid of those pesky gods easily, thanks to you. What are you talking about? The disappearance of the Caliber and the creation of the Shadow Realm, the activities of the gods, and the final transformation of the Caliber into the Brianna. Even the death of Chichol. All right, Tuan! <gasps> Prince of the Parthalonians planned all of that. <gasps> it's Tuan! The guy who lost his love. Prince of the Parthalonians, then you are the lone survivor of the Parthalonian race. Oh no, why is it, why is he evaporating? Oh God! Oh jeez. Oh God, look at all their faces. <gasps> For thousands of years I've waited, consumed by a single thought, to take revenge on the gods who destroyed my race. Though my body encased in the shell of suffering cries in pain, I never gave up the hope of reviving my race. Oh, God. <laughs> Skeletors. <laughs> 
Those who, are th who were threatened will now become the threat. Though the Parthalonians were wiped out by the gods, we will be raised by their own sword. Uh, we will aim the Brionic back at their hearts. <gasps> Kyla, you have done your part. Hand the Brionic to me. I am Tuan Mac Kyril, the prince of the Parthalonians and the rightful owner of the Caliburn. Now that Chichol is gone, none shall stand in my way. Oh, is he gonna go? Oh, wait, what? Why me? What have I done? If you're hit by the King Black Breath, use the Shadow Stone in your exclusive item window within five minutes to fin. If you fail to fin, you'll become incapacitated. Uh, exclusive item window? What, this thing? No, the Shadow Stone. Where's the Shadow Stone? Oh, this thing? Oh, okay. I guess I'll have it here. Do I have to use it if I'm, if I'm hit? Oh, this is disappointing. But I guess he's evil now. Do I have to let him hit me? Okay, here. Let me let him hit me so I can use this. Come on, dude. Hit me. Oh, he's not doing- oh, 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 there we go, there we go. There. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Black- that wasn't black breath. Okay. This- this is good, though. Oh, god, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. I use- Oh. Black- Back in the power of Chicho Awaken- the Oh. Ooh. Oh, look at me! Hold on. Okay, let me- Back in the power of Chicho, awaken the stone to ev evoke the dark spirit. You Dang it. Let's try again. <laughs> what? Do I need to... Maybe I need to alt click. I'm, I'm not clicking fast enough, I think. Do I have to, like, use it and then use it again? Maybe I have to use it and then use it again. Let's try it. Let's try it again. Oh, use Demigod. Use Demigod. Ah! Oh. Oh, uh, use. Oh, there we go. I give you the power of Chichol. There we go. Okay, you did it. You now possess the power of the Formers! Power of strength from the spirit of darkness. Which will lead to a brilliant annihilation. Whoa. Whoa. Shadow Spirit is now available. Use Shadow Spirit to kill the corpses of enemies to extract their souls, and then use it on the Python Knight to break his defense, and then defeat the Python Knight. Wow! Okay. Cool. This one? Wow! Oh, hold on. I have to use it. Oh. Hold on. Hold that thought. Did I do it? Oh. Hold oh, please. Oh, darn it! Oh, did he use the black breath on me? No! <laughs> this is difficult. Come on now. Okay, let me let me try this again. Wait, then we got. Okay, and then now. Hold on, let me get back. Okay. Oh god, get back. Okay, so then now I use this. And then 
might maybe use it on him. Oh god, not again. Wait, where'd it, where'd it go? Oh, where'd my thing go? <laughs> what in the world? How do you how do you use it to break his defense? I have to dodge the orb now. Oh, okay, I have to dodge it. Okay. No, wait! Hold on, don't... Stop it. Okay. I might as well poison him. Is he gonna summon more people? Is there an animation when I, so I know that I'm absorbing it correctly? Use it on him. Oh. 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 I think it worked. Oh, it's working. monster now I was careless I did not think that you would inherit the abilities of a demon I have been defeated by Chichul's cunning Kyla you may have been granted a power like those of the gods but one day you will regret having received such power I remember the downfall of the parcel uh, Partholonians. Morgan, fearful of the power of the Partholonians, used Chichol, Chichol to annihilate our race. But Morgan's selfishness did not end there. She then grew fearful of the formers and brought you militians into Erin. You have seen the tragic death of Chichol. Does Chichol's fate not seem familiar to you? Do you still not understand that the goddess is simply using you militians to accomplish her desires? What happens when she grows fearful of you? You must know the truth. Will the selfish goddess permit the militians to grow in power and challenge the authority of the gods? This is not the end of the Partholonians. The altar of Caliburn will not be given up so easily. Whoa. I know, I didn't dodge, but I think, yeah. It was like just in the nick of time. Cool! That was a cool, cool little quest. That was fun. Alright, Caliburn Pass. Talk to Padan and Tara. Okay. That altar reminded me of the Master Sword pedestal. The way to the altar of Caliburn is sealed by the Partholon's barrier. However, an alchemist named Kai claims he has found a way to de deactivate the barrier. But it is dangerous and he's short on hands. I'll issue you a I'll issue you a shadow mission. Please provide provide support to Kai and the other alchemists. When you're ready to begin this mission, you can do so at the Tara altar next to me. Is this the last mission? <gasps> it is! Gross. Oh, it says party size 1 8. I think I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll do it alone. But this is cool. It's called To the Altar of Caliburn. Alright, let's do this. 
listening. All right, Kai. While trying to find the identity identity of the Python Knight, I found a connection between him and the ancient Parthalonians. They held the key to open Parthalon's barrier, which protects the altar of Caliburn. Right over there is a relic known as the Caliburn Pass. I don't know where, but okay. He's talking. Oh, he talks. Continues to talk while pointing down the hill. Okay. But the Parthalon resistance is too strong for me to handle alone. Will you help? Of course. Let's go. So it's down the hill. So down here. Okay. Let's go down. Down the hill we go. Oh. Oh. That scared me. <laughs> Aha! There's the, there's the creatures. Sorry, Kai, take a break, I've got this. How dare you go against the will of Tuan, the will of the Parthalon. Who's talking? Who's talking? If somebody's talking. Ah! Lucky shot. The altar of destiny, I will not let you have it. Ooh. Who is that? Do you think it's his lady? Somehow she survived beyond the grave? Why do you help them, Malishin? Oh, a py python wizard. Oh, I can't knock them back. Oh, there we go. Why? But taking the key alone will not end this. Who's talking? What key? I don't see a key. Wait, did I do it? Oh, okay. Ta-da! <laughs> I like how Kai isn't done anything but reloads the whole time. I know. <laughs> oh, here we go. The final chapter. Now this is the ending. Recover the Caliburn. Ooh. All right, here we go, chat. Kind of quiet. Whoa! <gasps> oh Python, sh it's a shaman. Shaman. Oh. Die, shaman. <gasps> a snake. What? They went into the ground. Oh, just kidding. Oh! Oh, we have to fight the snakes now? Oh, no. Roboros? Wait, what? Oh, no. That was the name of his snakey-like sword. That makes sense. Ah! What? What? Whoa, what's going on? Ow! Whoa, this is, this is so, this, the camera angle is so weird. Ah! Your attacks don't seem to be working. Oh no, I'm poisoned. Wait, are they being revived? Oh no, they're being revived. Oh! Oh, I'm purple. Ha take that! Whoa, that was kind of cool looking. Yeah! <laughs> what? Wow. What did you have to do back then? Because it was harder. Did you have to do something special? Oh, there's the altar. Wait, he's not dead? Oh no! He nicked it just at the last minute. Oh no, he's got it. I 
Itawan Makaril, the Prince of the Parthalonians and the rightful owner of the Caliburn, command you, spirits of Parthalon, by the light of the Caliburn, wake now from your shadowy dream. Oh! <gasps> How can this be? The light of caliber emanates from your body. Wait, from my body? <laughs> That's true, Sarai. But like, what did y'all have to do? Like, what what stuff did y'all do to defeat it? Poison also emanates from your body. It does. I'm a nice purple shade. No, I cannot accept this. Can the final transformation of the Calibran have resulted in you and not the Brionic? I have no choice but to destroy you. If that is what it takes to receive or to revive the Parthalonians. Oh no. How do I unpoison myself? How do I get an antidote potion? <gasps> They're here! Sorry, I'm like, I have trouble with Parthalon's barrier. Friends, we'll handle these guys. Yes, we'll handle these things here. Kyla, you take care of the Caliburn. Okay. How do I take care of it? I am the chosen one. Bye, Tuan. Am I sealing the Caliburn into the altar? Oh, there it is. Okay, good. There it is. Everything started because of the Parthalonian's prince's grief. His grief created the darkness of the Shadow Realm and clouded his decisions. It is not over yet. Although the Caliburn has taken its rightful place, the Shadow Realm continues to exist. Maybe we cannot undo what, was our, what has already happened. But we, still have, but, or, but we still have the chance to choose. Let us hope that that is enough. It won't be. <laughs> but that's okay. I know, right, Miguel? <laughs> Oh, there, oh, you're done. Generation 11. Oh, so you had to ask the Royal Alchemist to help? <laughs> but what did the Royal Alchemist do? There, do they have to use like certain abilities? <laughs> Maddie. More of the story relationships cause the end of the world. <laughs> this looks really cool though. I like the graphic with the red, black, and white. That's the end of the game. It's the end of one generation. There's like 25 generations out. I'm on 11, so. The Shadow Realm and the Dark Noiter was all caused by the Python Knight. That's mentioned at the very last line of the chapter. Um, yeah, I guess so. I don't honestly make that connection, but yeah. I guess. <laughs> the art is cool. Oh, look at, look at her. Where's the after scene credit? Or after credit scene? Mabby did it first. We just have to wait for the credits to end. Unless I can skip this. But I kind of like looking at the graphics, like the images. They look cool. Oh, the music's really loud. 
that better? It kind of got really loud. You gotta admit, though, Tawan looks pretty darn cool. It's crazy that we didn't even meet him until G11, though. That's a snake. How big is the story to this game? Well, you have to keep in mind, one, it's an MMO, right? So it just keeps going. Um, and this game's been out in America since 2008, but it's been out in South Korea since 2004. So... They, of course, are going to have a lot of story. That was just Jenna's theory, a game theory. Who? Jenna's theory. What do you mean Jenna's theory? Oh. Oh, what's going to happen? Oh, <gasps> Morgan. Is she actually evil? Chi Chol, the militia have has the power of Navon and now your power too. The militia is beyond the boundary of our control. The time has come to return to our beginning and consider Tirnanog. Yes, the time has come. It is time to return as the goddess of Badab Badabad to wield our swords once again. <gasps> so Tawan was right. Whoa. Now we're gonna have to fight against Morgan? What the heck? I spent all of uh gener the first three generations protecting her. <laughs> what the heck? Wow. The gods are all corrupt and greedy, just like Tuan said. Jenna thinks the Python Knight created the Shadow Realm. Oh, that was Jenna's theory. Um, by the way, I'm I'm healis, healing. I'm healed. No more poison. Cheap leather. And now I got. Oh, can I actually use it? Oh, yeah. Oh, I got a weapon. What do I do with it? <laughs> Does it fit? No. There you go. All right, complete. We finished G11, guys. Yay. Oh, oh this is the start of G12. What is Clammy Soul is doing? Who's that? Another god? Oh. Ooh. Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> Talk to Siniad. Threat of the homunculus. Oh my god, this really is like <laughs> the anime. <laughs> um sort of. If you use Shock or Demigod with that Bryonic, you can break any monster armor. Wait, really? And Morgan is afraid of anyone who gets strong? Well, she created us, so I don't know what to say. She shouldn't be so paranoid. Why does she think I'm going to go and attack her? I'm only going to attack her. Ooh, I got Caliburn. I'm only going to attack her if she attacks me. Like, what the heck, lady? Can I put this in here? Okay. Some meta weapon that debuffs monster protection? Cool. I took a phone call and I missed the end of Golden Face. He turned out to be evil Madrona and we killed him. And we saved the world. But now there's a god... A really pretty god that wants to wreck our face. So that's not the best part, but it's okay. 
He's hot, but he's not evil. <laughs> we'll find out. Let me be the judge of that. Should we keep doing Generation 12? I kind of am like, why not? Like, why not? It's kind of long, but maybe we can, maybe we can do it today? I don't know. And then I could be done with the Alchemist one. Maybe. Might not be possible to finish today, but I could try. All right, Thread of the Humunculus. Talk to Sinead. Okay. Really pretty god. Was he evil, though, or just misunderstood? I'm not sure. Hold on, give me just a second. I'll be back. All right, this one's a bit longer. Very good, though. I'm game. I don't have anything else planned for today. <laughs> kind of just want to do the story. It's one of your favorite, favorite boss songs. Okay. I feel like I need to turn up this a little bit better. Okay, Kylie, as a shadow hero, I'm sure you recall the Clammy Solus incident. Once the Aelic regime recovered or discovered homunculus experiments were responsible for it. Um, all homunculus experiments were completely forbidden. However, we've gotten intelligence that homunculus transmutation have been taking place in the shadow realm. This isn't just about rules being broken. The pontiff's court is using this as an excuse to put pressure on the royal alchemists and the whole Aelic regime. The situation is very tricky, politically. It requires a delicate touch. You're the only one we trust to handle this. Please investigate the homunculus experiments. Okay, let's go investigate. How come did you play this game? Oh, like the reason? My friend, my friend got me to play the game. It was just a game I think he had been wanting. I think Orca used to play like a while ago but didn't get any didn't get far and uh he convinced me to play so it was my friend <laughs> my friend got me to play but hi spin spinal 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 uh got to level 28 in 2013 <laughs> yeah there you go that's my friend <laughs> um let's see Okay, let's continue. Oh, stone golem, die. You can run, but you cannot hide. Ooh, who's after me? <laughs> what? <laughs> who's after me? What the heck? What got you into Mavinogi Spino? Sp Spino? What made you play? Remember that scary demon they summoned a few weeks ago? It was somebody's spirit weapon. It came back wrong, obviously. Wait, what do you mean a few weeks ago? What demon? You already have demigod abilities, right? Uh, yeah, because I got that in what, G... G10? G9? G10? Oh, I don't think there's any over here. You can use Demigod to reveal the mini-map enemy locate. Oh! Really? Cool. Ugh. Ooh, and I run faster. Oh. Y'all are right. I mean, I could also use the air berries, too, that they gave, right? <laughs> Boy's voice. What is this sound? Oh, the G9 boss. Clammy Solus. Uh, yeah. You mean, you're talking about the cutscene that we just saw? Oh. What in the world? Hello. Who are you? Huh? Homunculus? What's that? 
Is your father too busy to play with you too? Great, then let's play together. Wait, who's that boy over there? Oh, you brought friends. Wait, what? Wait. Father will be sad. What? You want to meet father? Okay, he should be almost finished by now. Follow the boy? What in the world's going on? Why is there a child here? And I'm not talking about me. Support puppets also reveal. So many ways to reveal. Horror movie vibes? Following a small child. <laughs> man, how far is he taking me, man? Where are you taking me? Can I go? Can I go ahead? Oh, is it here? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Papa will be ever so displeased. <sighs> Do I have to wait for him to go first? My awakening of light will end in 10 seconds. Oh, God. Do I have to go in? The barrier has not been released yet. Talk to the boy. Oh, this way, this way. Father is inside here. Ah, we have guests. Wonderful. I have some interesting things to show you. Oh. <gasps> what in the world? Corrupted alchemist! My lovely children attack the infiltrator! Oh no! Dang, it failed, useless things! Oh! Wait, are they dead? You can no longer hear any breathing. Oh my god! What the heck are they doing? Ooh, a diamond. What the heck are they doing? These poor innocent children were used as experiments? Oh, that's wrong. Ah, uh, so the rot... A rat a alchemy society is behind the homunculus experiments. Oh, so that's who's behind this. That's bad. That's creepy. They're making life. Ugh! I've heard rumors that the allegedly deceased rat alchemy society leader, uh, Helvetius, has been cited. It's only a rumor, but I have al royal alchemists investigating anyway. Hold on one second, guys. My mom's calling me. Okay. <laughs> what level is Mother Kylie? What her level is? <laughs> that would be so cool if my mom would play Mavno you with me. Okay. Uh, it's only a rumor, but I have Royal Alchemist investigating anyway. Uh, Jenna, the former Temple Knight was the sole eyewitness to Helvetica's death. We are trying to locate her so we can interrogate her kylie i will get in touch when i get more information and okay if i learn anything from full metal don't mess around making homunculi oh that scene in full metal alchemist just destroyed me in regards to homunculus imagine if airy died and someone tried to bring her back and she came back like in Eldritch Abomination. Wait, why Airy? <laughs> Complete. All right, here we go. G12 has officially been started. Whoa, holy cow, there's a lot. Oh, at least the first one has a lot. Okay. Talk to Colin and Teltian. Okay. Oh. <sighs> I wanna, I wanna meet the sexy 
god with wings. They all have black wings. They all look the same. They all like shop at the same place. Because they're always gold, black, and white. <laughs> Because she's your spirit weapon, you fought a spirit weapon that was brought back in G9. Hmm. It's not every day that a country priest like me gets a letter from the royal regime, but I have to be careful about anything regarding Jenna. I'm glad you stopped by. I've been worried about what to do, but I trust you enough to tell you where Jenna is. Alright, Jenna. Isn't it better just to use the- oh! Oh no, the deer! I'm sorry! Oh, what's with all the animals? Hi Asher, how are you? I feel like an Eldritch Abomination before I've had my coffee. Oh, coffee sounds really good right now, actually. Are y'all having a good Tuesday? Is it busy today at all? For those that are working. Some of you guys probably are already off work. <laughs> Welcome home. What is going on? These poor deer. Um. Oh. Jenna, where are you? Not busy. Got to run D and D later, but don't know if I'm feeling it. Oh, are you like the? Oh wait, you mean like you're the, what is it called? The DM, Dungeon Master? Oh look, there she is. Whoa, Jenna! Your outfit changed! Whoa! She's got new, <laughs> new gear on. My team job is over, so I'm back to applying. I've been running this game for like two years. Wow! That's a long time. Whoa! I've been waiting for you. Colin mentioned you'd be stopping by. You want to know more about Helvetius, do you? I'd rather not talk about it, but I can tell you this. Helvetius is dead. You see, I'd been chasing the corrupted alchemists for a long time. I thought destroying them would avenge my father's death and make up for a painful childhood. My reasons aside, I saw Helvetius die with my own eyes, consumed in a blast of flame. But you know, Colin still has friends among the Temple Knights, and they seem to believe that Helvetius, Helvetius is still alive. Right, they never showed his face. Me, I don't know, or I don't put much stock in empty whispers, but if you want to look into it yourself, go see James at the main Maka Cathedral. He may look like your friendly neighborhood clergyman, but he's actually an investigator appointed by the pontiff's court. Okay. Oops. Stop running. Alright, to a mean. Did they give me a feather? Oh, they gave me a feather, go to tail. What's this? Underground waterway pass? Wait, was that from earlier? Uh, talk to James and Amin. Alright, to Amin. Jenna said if I gotta fight sexy gods, then I gotta get sexy too. <laughs> she does dress the part. Back with some chips and salsa. Ooh, that sounds good, Orca. Some random fish bones. Okay, let's go talk to this guy. Dun, dun, dun. 
Whoa, what is he riding? Whoa, it's a star. That's cool. Whoa, she's holding a broom. Okay, James. The alien regime isn't the only one watching the Rat Alchemy Society. Ever since the Clammy Solus incident, the Pontiff's Court's been keeping an eye on them too. Kylie, I know you're here to learn the truth about Helvetius, but all I have are a few clues about the corrupted alchemists. Still, you're the shadow hero. I'd like, I'd like to help you. Here, take this pass. It'll let you enter the Rat Alchemy Society's secret lair. I suspect that's where the rumors are originating. How the heck did he get his hands on this? <laughs> Secret layer pass. Find out if Helvetius is dead. Okay. Or is alive. Oh, Pekka Dungeon Altar. Okay. Pekka Dungeon. Star was a fishing event pet. Oh, that's cool. You got a pet for fishing. And it's a star. First time seeing that star pet. Yeah, it's first time for me too. Oh, shoot. Dang it, they always give me the these wings and I don't pay attention. Okay, all right. Secret layer pass. All right, here we go. Into the secret layer. Good agents died for that. <laughs> I'll believe it. Faint cloaker. Wow, pick a dungeon's easy. <laughs> Is this what Pekka normally looks like? <laughs> um, yeah! Where'd my other pet go? Oh well. Can't remember the last time I did non-Abyss Pekka. Yeah, this is like normal dungeon now. This is shorter though. Pekka's probably a lot longer, but... Yeah, this is what the d actual dungeon looks like. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Oh, is that Helvetius? Oh. Whoa! Helvetius! He is alive! I apologize for my lack of hospitality towards such an important guest from the alias regime. Uh, uh, I am but a weak old man. You wouldn't raise your weapon against me, would you? It was never my intention to attack the alchemist. To me, all alchemists are like brothers. It doesn't matter whether they be friend or foe. I wanted to speak with you, who people call the shadow hero. As you can see, I am very much alive. My days may be swathed in suffocating agony after the events of that day, but I still draw breath. Alias's royal regime was content to treat my supposed demise as fact. After all, who better to frame for crimes he didn't commit than a dead man? Yes, most could not rise from the grave to speak in their defense. If you seek to hold me accountable for the homunculus experiment, I ask that you at least let me explain my actions. The homunculus experiment was a necessity required to usher in a new era of alchemy. They may have branded us the corrupt alchemists, but I guarantee that the flourishing of alchemy this day and age enjoys would not have existed without the Arat Alchemy Society. That's one way to point it, but that's still messed up. <laughs> do not mistake me. I certainly won't be joining hands with the alias royal regime, but I do not seek war. Please deliver this personal letter to the royal alchemist Lin Linox? Linox? Lino? How do you say that? He is the senior royal alchemist, and I think perhaps he could intervene. Wow. Leno. 
Linux. <laughs> um, you know what? Now that I'm here, I'm gonna talk to Lazaro so he can give me my first Grandmaster mission. Because I can be a Grandmaster Alchemist today! Because I only need one more. Oh, it's a one-player mission. I guess I can do that real quick. Okay, he's on the first floor. Hold on, let's pause that. Let's go get my last Grandmaster mission. Woohoo! I'm gonna be a Royal Alch- or I'm not Royal Alchemist, a Grandmaster Alchemist. How many GMs is that now? Ten. This will be ten. I never knew how to pronounce that operating system, though. <laughs> Linux? Linux? Oh. Oh, it's Tetra. Whoa, look at him trying to dodge. Oh, it's Gluis. Romantic chef. Prepare yourself. I'm so sore. <laughs> Linux. Linux. school I work at has so many leftover donuts. I may take a box or two home for myself and my roommate. Yeah, if nobody, you know, says no, don't let it go to waste. I want a donut. We di I did it! Oop, I'm gonna pick that up though. Yay! Here we go, Got. Oh wait, no, I can't be a, I can't be a royal. Or I can't be a grandmaster yet. I have to wait until nighttime. Because of this. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, this is cheap leather. I have to wait until nighttime. So I'll I'll come back when it's night. Oh I would gladly. <laughs> Okay, all right, <clears throat> let me go find uh, this one guy. What time is it, 1.30 p.m.? What time is it in real life, 12.30? Wait, maybe I should pause right now and go take a lunch break. Wait, where is this guy? Wait, is he in here? Oh yeah, he's over here. Let me go find him first. Gonna cheat him out of some money, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if I don't have to spend one million gold, then I'm not gonna spend one million gold. You know what I mean? Oh, he's in here. There he is. Whoa, he looks kind of cool. Whoa, look at- whoa! Look at his mustache. <laughs> oh, this is a cool little place. <laughs> event, event ain't cheap, gotta save that gold. <laughs> I had a thought, what would the normal citizens of this world think about you just beating up their gods? They probably don't know about it. I've literally never bought a gold certificate, I've only used brass. <laughs> Hey, there's nothing wrong with doing that, in my opinion. How do you how do you get more though? Because I I got these as a gift. I got four of these as a gift, and then I got the uh, normal ones 
because the master event gave me a couple, which was really nice. And then I think my growth guide also will give me some. I actually haven't been paying attention to this, <laughs> like, at all. Um, at least I think it does. Oh, see, there's one right there. Oh, that's brass. Wait, even the growth guide gives you a brass one? <laughs> Wait, that's funny. Um, yeah, oh, there you go. Oh, there, see, there's one. Interesting. Well, it's okay. Oh, thanks, Peach Pia. I actually am going to take a uh, lunch break, so rain check on that hydration check. <laughs> I have them from previous events. I just never used them. Oh, it's from other events. I see. We are going to... <laughs> we're going to hiccup. Uh, we're going to continue generation 12. Oh god. Let's turn that down. I used to be in a marching band. Ooh, what instrument did you play? Leslie and Asher, what instrument do y'all play? I wonder what a good instrument I would choose or could choose. I think it just depends on how you breathe, right? Actually, I don't know. How do you how do you choose what instrument you play? <gasps> Y'all both play trumpet. Trumpet be popular and flute. It's possible they just pass everything through a filter too and it wasn't like a targeted fix. Possible. Possible. I could see you with the trombone. <laughs> I could be a good trombonist. Uh, allow me to introduce myself. I am a... Linol? Linox? Linux? Linux? An elder royal alchemist. Your accomplishments, Shadow Hero, are known to me. Welcome. It's a pleasure to meet you. You give Helvetus' letter to him. Okay, what's this? He reads it carefully. Helvetus wants to avoid a war with the corrupted alchemist? The royal regime feels the same way. The world has enough tribulation without unnecessary warfare. Before he came before he became an enemy, Helvetus was an old friend of mine. He was such an accomplished alchemist. He was even regarded as one of the four Vates. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to prevent this war from happening, but I'll do what I can. I'll need some time, though. It's a Vate. Now, as for the reason I summoned you here, we recently caught a corrupted alchemist. We wish to question him about the homunculus experiments that took place in the Shadow Realm, but his lips are shut. Since you've confronted Helveticus face to face before, perhaps you can convince this corrupted alchemist to talk? We currently have him quarantined in the Shadow Realm. Alright, send me there. Send me there, sir. Send me there. Oh. Why is this here? A rat the berries. Here, might as well use them. Da -na 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 -na. What the heck is this? Oh! Oh no! I got ice mined! <laughs> Am I supposed to be like looking around or? I need you best to trigger <laughs> to trigger him. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Vesu. I didn't mean for that to happen, by the way. I killed the blinker. <sighs> oh, this way. Oh, I guess I'm only killing the blinkers. who won't talk Charlas You saw Helvetius? How dare how or how does he fare? 
He listens eagerly as you explain what happened. As the lead alchemist of the Red Alchemy Society, I am deeply ashamed. If only our homunculus experiment had succeeded, Helvetia's scar would have healed. Hear me, we do not conduct our research with uh, treating it. Uh, treasonous intent as the monarchy would have you believe our toil is so that the world might become a better place a place where lives can be saved without reliance on religion superstition magic or any such benighted beliefs we wish to bring salvation to the world solely through the power of human reason through knowledge and logic but the way things went was was as though the bridge leading to our ideals crumbled beneath us and what I saw shattered my faith in those precepts I had clung to so steadfastly. Science was as a religion to me and yet in the blinking of an eye science was brought to heal, crusted underfoot. Would you believe me if I told you that a god has resurrected a genuine deity? A god has resurrected? Jarlath's reminisces. Oh, Cutscene. How dare he fair? <laughs> oh, it was just a normal homunculus experiment with little chance of success, but there was incomplete transmutation. The whole thing could have been disastrous. Oh, <gasps> there's Clammy Soulless. Ah! No. <laughs> <gasps> He died! Wait, why is everybody dying? What happened? But what happened next was no accident, nor was it alchemy. Before my very eyes, I saw the return of the hero. Ooh, here we are, here we go, chat. Let's see what he looks like. Oh! Oh, the hero of Magterita, Nuada, Nuada, I couldn't see his last name. Whoa. What do we think, chat? What do we think? On a scale to one to daddy, is he a daddy or is he a one? <laughs> Nuwa, Nuad, Nuada, I don't know how to say his name. Nuada, Nuado. Axolotl. You give him an eight? I thought I, he's kind of, he looks familiar. Why does he look familiar? Hold on. He looks familiar. Is he, is he in this? Is he in this? I thought I recognized him. Or maybe, maybe I'm full of it. But I thought, I thought I saw a video when I was watching the Mabinogi thingy. Oh! Oh yeah, he would be in this. It's literally called the first battle of Mag Tarid. And they said he's from that. Oh! He was in this! Oh, wow. So they actually give us information about what happened. We always hear about this battle. But we don't see it. Oh, shoot. Now I understand. <laughs> oh, darn. Uh, I still can't do that yet. Anyways. An eight's not bad. But he's no daddy. Hmm. All right, the king of the gods, no less. Oh, he's a king of the gods. Indeed, Nuada, Nuada has been revived. Hmm. I need to see... Oh, I didn't complete that. I need to see how he is. Oh, I think I need to leave now. I need to see how his personality to, to give y'all an answer. Whoa, the floor. Look at the flower. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Can he fly? What happened to his leg? Oh, oh, it's right there. That's his foot. Okay. Uh, Nuwada Ergetlim. Nuwada Ergetlim. Resurrected? 
So the transformation of Clammy Solus awakened Nuwada, master of the sword. I see now why the corrupted alchemist kept his mouth shut. Kylie, I think it's best if we keep this knowledge to ourselves. Oh, okay. Why? Isn't the Doki Doki preview today? It is! Eee! It's gonna be at 4 o'clock, so what I plan to do is... I normally end my stream at 4, so I'll just send a raid over to Mabnogi and we can all watch... Watch there. Because I want to know what Doki Doki... Uh... I want to know. <laughs> I want to know! Can you show me? Mm. I am right though, it is at 4, right? Hold on. Actually, I'm second guessing myself now. Uh, join community manager Arcelia for the upcoming February Doki Doki update content in Mavinogi, uh, Tuesday, February 13th at 4 p.m. Okay. 4 p.m. So it's at the end of my stream, so we'll just go there. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, I forgot about this. <gasps> White Day! They're doing the waifu. You would think they would do the husbando one for White Day, because White Day is when guys give gifts. <laughs> That's funny. Who's winning? Okay. I'm voting Rari. And wait, I already voted, I think. I already voted. I already voted. Gotta wait. What the heck is White Day? It's where you uh or got so in Japan, this is a Japan thing. Uh in Japan on February 14th, the girls give chocolate to guys. Either like just as friends or like they're kind of Confessing, I guess. Um, and then, uh, White Day is when the guys give back. So, whatever chocolates that they got from the girl, he either, I guess, doesn't give it back or does. I don't know. <laughs> Tom said that when he got uh, chocolate for Valentine's Day, he would always um, give back more. Uh, I don't really know an example right now, but basically, like, if they gave him chocolate, he'd give them, like, better chocolate. Like, I guess, more expensive chocolate? I don't know. Something like that. But yeah, that's what White Day is. It's in March. It's March 14th, so it's literally a month after Valentine's Day. White Day is the day you do all your white laundry. <laughs> I right, gotta go talk to Seniad now. Did they give me a thingy? No. Where's the door? Ah, the door. All right, time to go talk to Seniad. Sounds like a neat loss for guys. What do you mean a loss? How do I, how do I? Is it this way? I think it's this way. I think technically, I mean, it just depends on per on the person. So basically, girls confess, and like the guy can either accept the chocolate and give it back to her, or be like, "No, I'm friend zoning you," and doesn't give chocolate back. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I obviously don't. I'm not from Japan, so I don't know the specifics. I only know what Tom told me, and obviously, everybody in Japan has their own experiences with different stuff, right? Oh, net loss, not neat loss, net loss. You get chocolate and then you give back more chocolate. Yeah, but then maybe you also have a relationship out of it. I don't know. <laughs> and I guess you don't have to make, you don't have to do more. That's just what Tom said. I think he was just doing that to be nice, I don't know. Apparently he was popular in high school. He got a lot of chocolate from girls. <laughs> I was like, ooh. <laughs> Mavi told me not to trust women or men or any kind of love. There you go, that's a spirit. <laughs> now that we know Helvetus is alive, the royal regime has no choice but to use force. We have uh, already obtained the cooperation of the royal alchemists who will help with the attack. 
Yes, some of the more moderate royal alchemists advocate negotiation before war, but a line has been crossed. It is too dangerous. The time for an amicable, amicable compromise has passed. Every moment we delay is time the corrupt alchemist can use to do damage. Shall I send you in the underground waterway right away? Yeah. Let's go. Need more. <laughs> I hear you met uh, Linux, the elder royal alchemist. I'm ashamed to admit this, but he is my father. <gasps> I cut all ties with him and haven't spoken to him in ages. When I first discovered the truth about the tragedy of a man, I could not forgive him. I don't care if I'm, I am in his son, or I am his son. You know what happened, right? The night of the tragedy of a man, corrupted alchemists brutally murdered all the druids they could find. And my father, who was in charge of the royal alchemists, stood by and did nothing. He pretended not to see what they did, all to maintain political power over the alchemists. Huh. You could say the elite status that alchemists have today as a result of cold -hearted, are the result of cold-hearted bloodshed. I'm sorry, I got a little carried away. Let's just say that the tension between us and the corrupted alchemists is worse than ever. It's crucial that we do our jobs well. I got a message saying the corrupted alchemist named Amos ha was spotted. We'll start by looking for him. Amos. So you have to buy the girl's affection. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's the spirit of Valentine's Day, is it not? <laughs> My affection is my only hope. Boiler. <laughs> oh my goodness. More drama. Wait, where? Well, I guess there's not orbs in every single place. You know the old Japanese saying, you're only as handsome as your wallet? That's a Japanese saying? What? Oh, a royal alchemist! Come back here! Dang it, he trapped us in. Wait, like, what? What do I do? Oh, that alchemist over there. I'm certain it's alchemist Emos. Okay, here's the plan. I'll head towards the kitchen and cut him off. You chase him and lead him towards me. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, how? How? Find the device that opens the metal um, get gate blocking the northern passage. Oh, here we go. I think this is it. It is now. <laughs> I swear to God. Whew. I was scared that thing was about to start spraying its poison. Alright, here we go. So I have to run this way. How'd, how'd you get here already? Wouldn't you like to know? Hmm. Do I have to open this gate? Oh, it says you hear the sound of the metal. Oh. And... Oh, here we go. We have to unlock. I feel so fast. So fast with shooting. Alright, get him! Redneck soul. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Oh, Leemore, get him! Oh, they vanished. Okay, uh, let me, let me unlock. Hmm. <laughs> 
Orca, do you remember doing this? Hey, Critical! Hi, how are you doing today? Oh, a double raid! And Jibral! Hi, guys! How are y'all doing today? Are you excited about the... Oh, let me do shout out, shout out real quick. Are you excited about the Doki Doki announcements? What did y'all do with Mavi today? Hold on, let me do shout out for Critical. Everybody go hit that like button. And then let me do a shout out for Jibral too. <laughs> Double raid. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi time. Hi Luna. <laughs> Double trouble. <laughs> Hi guys. We ran Crom. Any any good luck from Crom? My one clip's gonna blast everyone's ears. Uh, what clip? I don't have the clip thingy on. <laughs> Hold on, I'm, I'm waiting for this darn ad to go away. And then I'll do yours. One second. How's G12? Um, I learned about Nuwada. Um, I don't know how I feel about him yet. All I saw was his, what he looked like. And then I remembered, I remembered when, uh, what was it called again? The Battle of Magtaridid. This guy, this guy, I remember seeing him there. So when I saw him, I was like, whoa, he looks familiar. But so far, so good. We finished G11, now we're on to G12. Oh, so your luck has run out. Surrender, He blast. Is that your new alchemy skill? Oh, oh my God, they were talking so fast. Ha, huh, alchemists cannot compete. Uh, when is the power of the red? Perfect. All right, let me do a shout out for Jibril now. <laughs> they talk so fast. Hi, Bill. We got okay drops. Okay doesn't sound horrible. Oh, I have to wait 18 seconds before I can do another shout out. Okay, let me wait. I just hit the eight hour mark on stream. Eight hours, that's a long time. 13.5, that's a long time. Top tier voice acting. Thank you. <laughs> okay is better than no K, exactly. <laughs> Has it been 18 seconds? Oops. There we go. Everybody go go follow Jibril. Click the heart up at the top. Orca wins uh, your next voice acting. When is your next voice acting session? Yeah, we're going, is it? Hopefully not for a while. Kylie's an expert speed reader. Actually, I am really good at speed reading, but I just read it out loud because people are working today. Thank you for the shout out. Ah, I'm still a newbie streamer, so it may be scuffed. Hey, we all start somewhere. It's okay. You definitely don't want to check out my early stream because a girl, <laughs> my... My uh, microphone sounded extra crunchy. And that was like back in 2013. So I don't even think there was good. Maybe there was good microphones out, but I didn't know how to do that at the time. A long time ago. Reading is difficult for me. <laughs> it is a lot of reading. All right. Uh, we are trying to I guess get information from this guy. I was able to retrieve some valuable information from almost about a skill developed by the corrupted alchemist. It's called Heat Buster. I'll take almost to the Wrath Royal Castle for now. I think we may be able to get more clues about the corrupted alchemist. I have one more request. According to almost, a large homunculus experiment took place in this waterway just recently. I suspect it has to do with the transmutation of clammy soulless. Please go to the end room on the right and investigate. All right, I'm on it. The end room on the right. Oh, through the wardrobe, right? Bye, Jibril. Have a good break. Yes, please go take a break, Critical and Jibril. You guys have probably been streaming for a long time. It's okay. You don't ever have to stay after raids in my chat. Story. I appreciate it, of course, but... After streams, I'm usually exhausted and I don't want to do anything either. 
I got a secret note. Well, I guess I have to go and do this myself alone. Um, where is it? A ta a gla. <laughs> yeah. A ta a gla. Oh, goodness. I've done this so many times. Is there going to be a red dragon at the end of this? Probably not. Oh. Oh. They don't have me fighting anything. Oh. 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 Here we go. Corrupted alchemist. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> Proof, <laughs> Jai. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, that's it? What? Oh, okay. All right, I'm done. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's nothing there. Okay, let me talk to her. How very odd. I have a hunch that the goddess statue blocking your path was an emblem of goddess Morrigan. During the Battle of Mag Tarid, she used, she used a similar tactic to block the former's path. But why would she try to stop you? I don't understand. In any case, there is only one way to destroy the barrier. Take this bad cath talisman. This was used during the Battle of Mag Tarid. As its name suggests, it contains the blessing of bad cath. Who stood and fought with mankind against the formers. It's very rare to find these still intact, so handle it with care. Alright, let's go back then. It looks like a wing. Is that a wing? What is that? Hmm. Ooh, a wrath berries. I will take these. Thank you. Nom nom nom. These have some of the longest missions, having to do endless amounts of tar, <laughs> tar and shadow missions. Which is fine, I guess. It takes a while. I'm complaining when this is already shorter than it probably used to be. Oh. Oh no, my summons are used up. Oh. Oh well. Hi, Karn. I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? Okay. I'm feeling this yellow orb. Nope, I'm wrong. Been good dodging bullets on the stock market. How are you dodging bullets? I'm glad you're dodging bullets. Are you buying stocks and stuff? Apparently the interest rate's doing a lot better, which is nice. <laughs> I'm assuming that's is that what you mean? Is that what you mean? Oh. Hit the orb. I think I've been getting really bad luck. I've been like hitting every single orb that makes me fight everything. Ah! I didn't have any open option positions when the inflation numbers came out today, which was good, so my option position didn't get slammed. I don't know what the heck that is, but good congratulations. <laughs> I'm glad it's going well. Glad my mom. 
Oh, nope. Oh, there we go. Oh, yay. It doesn't make me do everything. All right. Got this secret note. Okay. Let's see. Dow it. Gimel. Oh, the heck? Okay. Are you sick of this dungeon yet? Uh, yes. Oh, dang it, I don't have any more berries! I'm sick of going into the, the castle. <laughs> yeah. It's like every single mission is like castle, 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 castle. I don't know where these ice mines are. All right, time to tear down this statue. Try you. Oh, I have to use it. Use. You must use it. I am near the goddess statue. Use. Oh, wait. Use. What in the name? Maybe I have to go back a little bit? What? <laughs> I've got Final Fantasy VII on the brain. I have too much Final Fantasy VII in my brain as from yesterday. Weren't you rebuilding those statues not long ago? Yeah, now we're tearing them down. How close do I need to get? This is so weird. Okay, maybe I need to like, maybe I do it from back here. Let's use it near it. I am, tr I am using it. Oh, there we go. That was weird. <laughs> Thanks, Corn. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh well, it's a little finicky. <gasps> Who's that? Who's that guy next to? Oh! Do not be afraid. Is that his like holy knights with him? Or something? I am Nuada. Whoa! Gosh dang! I feel like he's daddy level. <laughs> guy Ferrari? Welcome to Flavor Town! I think it's Guy Ferrari if he had muscles. <laughs> I'm Nuwada Ar Ergetlem, Master of Clammy Solace. Oh, he's the Master of Clammy Solace? Militia, and I have been waiting for you. Before he became a TV host. Before he started becoming a food TV host. <laughs> he was in Mavriogi? Oh my god, he's letting his feet just hang out. Uh, oh look, there's, um, Navon, and I guess that's him. I don't know who the person... Is there somebody behind him? The king of the gods, who was devoured by the darkness of Krom Crotch, was awakened by the call of Clammy Solace. Ah, oh, these names. Kyla, you are here not to prove the death of the gods, but to prove their resurrection. The destiny I have chosen for you has destroyed Krom Crotch and repaired the broken clammy soulless. My own resurrection resulted from your destiny. Therefore, I shall grant you the same divine power I have. Oh my god, yeah, keep giving me your powers, gods. Come on. This is my act of gratitude to all militians who have achieved so much in Eren. You now have the power to become the heart of this world. Oh, that's nice. I'm the heart of the world. You're trying to say Guy Ferrari doesn't have muscles? I mean, I haven't seen him without a shirt on, so I'm assuming no. <laughs> no, I don't want to see that either, though. He looks like he went Super Saiyan, but the rest of his hair didn't. <laughs> uh, crump, crump, crotch. Yes. He seems like he's a good guy, a good god, but then we've already had good gods turn bad, so I just don't trust any god anymore.
Bum, 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 bum. All right, gotta go to the first floor. They don't have a very good record. No. I'm kind of excited to see that Battle of Mag to read, though. They were constantly, constantly talking about it all the time. Oh, I always get confused. How do I get out of here again? Yeah, this way. Were you ever made to go to Sunday school as a kid? Uh, no. Actually, I never was forced to do that when I was younger. My dad made it, like a thing in our family so that we didn't have to choose or what we excuse me we got to choose we didn't get to be forced to go to Sunday school or to I don't know be forced to learn something um, that we may not have believed in because my Nana basically would force her children to go to like church and stuff and Sunday school and Bible school and all this stuff so much so that if my dad ever missed um it was really bad my Nana was kind of a horrible lady <laughs> uh but you know she's eight she's old now so she's calmed down <laughs> but she would make them go and like there was one time where my dad had a job and he couldn't make it because he had to like afford to go to school and she, I can't remember what happened but she, she got really mad at my dad for not going and he's like I'm never gonna make my family do this kind of stuff ever again so that's why I was never forced to go the tea in my family <clears throat> people were real serious about church back in the day I think they still are some people are but I mean, my Nana is from, like, the South, like, super South, right? She's from Mississippi. So, yeah, I feel like they're, like, even stronger there. I love that he allowed you to have a choice. Yeah, I do too. I went for, like, a month and my parents realized I didn't like it. Oh, I'm glad that they decided, didn't force it on you. You were forced to go, Jai? I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I would ever force my children to do anything like that either. Like, if they want to, I'll be very supportive of them. But I would never force them to do something like that. Um, the monarchy is using the homunculus experiments as an excuse to eradicate the corrupted alchemists. But frankly, as an alchemist myself, I supported the homunculus research. All politics aside, of course. Hmm. You see, the homunculi have been a subject of research for, a lo for as long as the study of alchemy has existed. Some of the experiments have been responsible for major leaps in our understanding, but if those experiments have affected even the gods, as Jarlath suggests, what a breakthrough. Whose side is he on? You see, this show that alchemy has the power to not only affect the physical world, but also to exert an influence that can alter the celestial realm as well. A letter arrives. Hmm, King Arthur MacQuill is summoning the royal alchemist. Things must not be going well. If a full-scale war breaks out, there will be much bloodshed. I refuse to take I refuse to make the same mistake again. I'll do everything in my power to stop this. That's good. Wait. How far am I into G12? Oh god. I'm not even done with number one. <laughs> oh, okay. But to be fair, number one's the longest. Just kidding. Number five. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Um, okay. Alright, where do I go? Wait, what did it say? The path of a god. Talk to Nawada. Okay. Gladly. Wait, do I need to go to the tar altar? I think so. Alright, Nawad. Nawada. Nawaddle. Into the dungeon again. Please don't make it be the same one. 
I like the variety. Like when we were when we were chasing that guy and had to chase after Atmos, that was fine because it wasn't every room. No! Dang it! Can I bring people into these things to make them fat? No, it's party size one. You know what? It's okay. I could probably take a break and do something else. Oh my god, I need to go do my wine. <laughs> I could take a break and do something else so this doesn't, like, make me annoyed. <laughs> but I need to go do my wine! I need to do my wine chat. But, oh, my wine's so bad. <laughs> I feel so bad I've been making such poopy wine. I wanted it to be the best wine in all of Erin. But I've been, been doing a poopy job. Hence the poopy wine. But to be fair, that minigame is hard. Do people cheat? People cheat, don't they? Or maybe they're just like god clickers. Because clicking the little purple thingies, it's so hard. And, and in order to make it so that the acidity is low, you have to make it fast. And that's just hard. It's hard. I'm liking that I'm trying it though. I know I don't have to go so hard on it, but I guess I'm practicing. Do you turn up the speed? I do, but then it, it's just become, it's become way too fast that my, the purity goes down so much because I can't click all the little purple things fast enough. People skill seal it. Oh, no, 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 true. That makes sense, Shock. I would do that too. Um, but I'm, I, one, I'm doing it just to learn how to do it. So I've been aging my wine. I think it's almost been a week now. I think it's been at least four days. So maybe not a week yet, but it's been a while. And I just wanted to try it out. And then people also told me that I need to practice anyways because eventually I'm going to need to make wine that's good for glyph making or something. I don't really know, understand that part, but if you're even a minute late, the wine will be ruined. Oh God. Okay. Well, shoot. Let me hurry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Need to be a pro FPS player. I think I just need to make, I just think need to increase the sensitivity of my mouse maybe, and that will make it faster or make it easier. I'm not sure. All right, here we go. Here's Nawada. Whoa, I'm taller than him now. Oh, it's because I'm on the cloud. So you finally decided to become a god, have you? It took you long enough, but there's one problem. Morgan doesn't approve of militians. You've seen the barrier she set up, I'm sure. During the Battle of Magtree, she used the same magic that was used to annihilate the formers on militians. What do you think that means? What do you think about that, them apples? It means she perceives your kind as a pest to be wiped out, just like the formers. The next time you come across her, she might slash her blade straight through your heart. I don't wish to see you in that kind of danger. No, you need to get Morgan's support. But first, convince, uh, 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 how do you say her name again? Navon, Navon, to help you. If you do that, it might not be so difficult to get Goddess Morgan's support as well. Use Bedev's cast talisman. It'll lead you to Navon. Okay. All right. So I have to get the lady, the goddess that was on my side, back on my side. <laughs> ah, these god and goddesses are so fickle. All right, let me go do my wine. Let's go do my wine chant. My wine. I remember waiting five days for a rank one, rank one wine making and it failed. And I just skill, skill sealed it. I'm sorry. Okay, this is my wine. It's age 85, and but the acidity, acid, 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 oh my god, I can't talk. 
Acidity and purity are so low. Wait, what did that say? It's been... Oh, did I not do my wine yesterday? I think I did. Oh, this is so hard. Here, I turned it down. Oh God. I turned it up. Oh God, I turned it down. <laughs> I can't blink during this mini game. Oh! <laughs> I had my eyes are so off. <sighs> hey, that's not so bad. Well, I mean, it's bad, but it's not so bad. At least it's not zero. Yay! That spelling does not match at all. Match what? Wait. Uh, Glyph Lore, rank three, rank two have good wine requirements. Yes, if Lazaro or Lude deems your wine garbage, you're gated until you make 80 plus quality. Oh, wait. No, wrong quality system. It's score based. What else have you been putting in your wine, Kylie? Rats. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, dang it, I don't I don't know. Okay, well, I did it. Do you think it'll be done tomorrow? It's been six days. They said six days. So I guess it's been six days, so tomorrow my wine will be done. But my wine sucks, so that stinks. At least I tried. <laughs> they said it's been more than a day. I probably should have gone. Well, it looked like it was fine. I don't know. It was, didn't make any sense. Talk to Alpin in the Wrath Royal Castle Hanging Garden. <gasps> Wait, it's nighttime. Wait, it's nighttime. Wait. It's nighttime. Oops, wrong one. I need to. I need to go talk to Liz, uh, Lazaro. I need to go talk to Lazaro, and then I can become a uh, grandmaster. But we have to do it at night, because apparently he has bad eyesight, so then he can't read the paper to know that it's counterfeit. <laughs> there is actually a way to compute wine score. How, Sarah? Can you tell me what mine is? My score? There we go. Become a Grand Master. You submitted the Brass Grand Master Certificate with total nonchalance. Congratulations, you are now Grand Master Battle Alchemist. Woo! I hope to see you become even greater. <gasps> I'm a Grand Master Alchemist. Look! Amazing! <laughs> I wonder what the next one should be that I do. So now I just have to get to level... <gasps> Wait! I can talk to Blanid. Hold chat. Hold please. I can talk to Blanid because I have to tell her I completed G11. I forgot to do that. Yay. I am 1500 now. Oh wait, I think I need that. I'm already doing G12 so far. I'm on this part. Um, but it's good so far. I like Nuad. Nuad. Um, it's on the wiki. 
score equals purity plus acidity plus freshness plus age times lowest value between purity, acidity, freshness, and age times five. Is there a simple calculator on the wiki? <laughs> um, okay, let me go to Dunbar. I'm so curious what mine is. So, hold on. The problem is, though, I'm gonna have to replace the barrel. Wait, do I replace the barrel tomorrow? Or do I just finish aging it? Hmm. Okay, hold on. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, hold on one second. Oops, I didn't mean to, ah! Okay, all right, so, let me copy what Sarah said. <laughs> Hi, Queen! It's your birthday today! Happy birthday! Are you having a good day? I just manual it. It needs to be minimum 16K score to be normal. <laughs> All right, let's see. So we got purity, which is um, 41 plus acidity, which is 25 plus freshness, which is 93 plus age. Currently it's 85, so it's 85. All right, times the lowest value between all of them. Okay, so 25. And then 25 and then times five. If I did it right, it's 30K. So he's gonna hate it and spit it out. <sighs> Dang it. It's the darn acidity. If that acidity was higher, I would have done better. No, not even then. It's it's the acidity, it's just a stupid mini game. I, I can't win. Cause even if I turn up and make it really fast, like doing a mini game really fast, it doesn't matter. Because then the purity will just go down if you don't hit all the, He's just a wine snob. I like to see him do the mini game. Butthole. <laughs> if you have any lower than 40, it's not enough. Mm. Oh well. I tried, but at least I'll enjoy my wine. I'll name it Kylie Wine. You know what's so funny is I actually have a wine that says Kylie on it in my refrigerator. <laughs> and it doesn't taste good. So, I think, I think I know why. Oh wait, I think I need to go outside. There must be a trick. There must, maybe there is, maybe there is a trick. Sarah, what's the trick? So ready for bed soon. I'm glad you had a good birthday, queen. Thank you for the 114 months, by the way. What's the trick? Where am I finding? Wait, who? Oh, I think I, oh, I went the wrong way. I have to go in here and then go. Oh, garden, here we go. If you find one, you tell me. You just speed up the mini game and YOLO. Oh no. I bet the mini game would be a lot easier with the touch screen monitor. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Can you do that? That's a good idea. Then you can just, <gasps> that would be a good idea. But I don't have, I don't have that. Your ping doesn't let you score well. Actually, your laptop has a touch screen. Effin, you go try it. Oh, this guy. I have to talk to this guy. He's dead. I wonder, wait, I think Tom has a laptop I could use. 
Hmm. On those laptops with a touch screen, can you use those little like stylus pins? You know, like on like uh like like your iPad, the stylus pin, or you know, like when you had a 3DS, those little pins. Mine has one. I wonder if Tom's has one. Okay, well, I'm gonna try, that's gonna be the next thing I try out, but I'll have to do that, like, later. <laughs> I don't even know, does he even still have that laptop? I'm gonna ask him. Do you have a touch screen laptop? Okay. Well, that's not a bad idea. I don't think Mabby supports touch. It probably doesn't. But, er, well, if it's a touch screen and you click by tapping on the screen, maybe it would work? I don't know. We, we can just try it. It doesn't hurt to try. Cindy, I mentioned you're looking for about a cast talisman. It's not easy to find some, it's not easy to find something that was used way back in the battle of Mag to read, but luckily my grandfather served in that battle. So I actually have about a cat's talisman I've been safekeeping. He's nice, but those scissors are terrifying. Why did put those suckers down while I'm talking to you, Alpin? Oh, his his music sounds very uh French French sounding. <laughs> I kinda like it. Never heard of anyone using a touchscreen for Mavi. Yeah, it's probably not good to do the game touchscreen um, to play the game touchscreen, but for the mini game, might be, maybe, maybe, we'll see. But despite Sinead's urging, I can't just hand over my grandfather's memento. Perhaps you can do me one favor first. There is a royal castle guard who just can't stop crying. He helped me out when I was just starting at the castle and now I want to help him. He has a fiance, a royal castle maid. Can you ask her why he's so down? Okay. Getting into other people's business, my favorite thing to do. And now I know me. If it works, you tell me and I'll borrow my sister's old laptop. Okay. I am on it. Oh, they look, they look like Nuada. Sort of. Oh, is this the maid? <laughs> She's a little feather duster. You know, I've been wondering the same thing myself. I'm worried my fiance's had a change of heart. See, we hardly ever fight, but we got into this huge argument the other day and we haven't even, we haven't seen each other since. Now that I think about it, perhaps I overreacted. If you see him, could you tell him I'm sorry and that I feel terrible and that I love him? Why don't you tell him yourself? Okay, wait, where is he? The entrance of the castle. This is faster. But, I'm on it. I need to double check if Tom has, if my boyfriend has a touch screen laptop. If he doesn't, then I won't be able to, te to, to try. But FN, you should try. You should do it now. And then, and then we'll know. All right, which one is her lover? This guy? Oh, he's a different guy. But I kind of look like him, I think. Uh... <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> Is it this guy? Royal Castle soldier with a high-pitched voice stands on duty. Uh, Aini, Aini said that about me. I'm touched. I feel like I'm going to cry. When people see my girlfriend, they say I must have everything. Truth is, I have nothing. I want to marry her. I promised her we would get married, but my small military salary can't even pay for a wedding hall. Must I forsake my love for Ainia? Oh, Ainia. Okay, he's sad because he's broke. I feel that. <laughs> Poor guy. All right, um, let's go tell his friend that he's sad because he's poor. This way. 
I need a walkthrough. I forgot how to do it. Um, there actually is a tutorial thing, Effin, that you can do, so you don't even have to do all the wine stuff if you don't want to. There's like a little tutorial. I think you just need to talk to the imp. Hi, Peru. Um, you talk to the imp, and I, I, it's like one of the first, one of the options, I think. I can't remember right the top of my head. <clears throat> okay. So the guy's been crying his eyes out. That's kind of distressing. You know, I'd like to help him if he and I and his bride-to-be have to push their wedding back because of money. Perhaps I could supply some. I can't just hand it to him. That'd be emasculating. Oh, okay. So I thought maybe I could collect a donation through the pontiff's court and get him the money that way. Can you help? You have to keep the whole thing secret though. Go talk to my sister, Lilius. I'm sure she'd be happy to give some money as a donation. Wait, his sister is Lilius? Like the, like the jousting girl? Oh, I guess they kind of look similar, yeah. Um, where is it? So it's by any trade post, but I usually go north of Dumbarton to, to pick it up. At least that's what I've been doing. So he's gonna get donated the money. Wouldn't the donation just feel like the same as his friend gifting him money? My brother said I give you what? Sheesh, what a softy. But still, he's my brother. I can't just ignore him. But I can't just give you a handout for free either. I'll help you if you help me first. See, I've been wondering how I can get some new customers. And I thought to myself, Lilius, it's about marketing packaging. So I created this Lilius Deluxe Honey Set. It contains honey drink, honey drink light, and honey lotion. Brilliant, ain't it? But now I must, I need some folks to go out and advertise my set. Oh, me, Orca, and FN are the best people for this job. That's where you come in. Just go out there and ask people to buy my Deluxe Honey Set. Okay. Get people in Tara to buy the deluxe honey set. All right, we're doing some marketing for Lilius. Uh, which people in Tara though? Like anybody in Tara? Um, oh, what about this girl? No, I don't think that NPC would count. I'm not sure. Um, where are the NPCs? Is there a guy, anybody here? Oh wait, what about the artist? What about this guy? You like honey, don't you? How do I talk about the honey? Oh, there it is, Lilius Deluxe Honey Set. You're talking about cute little Lilius? Why, sure, I'd love to order a honey drink from her. I probably won't use the lotion much, but I could use, I could sure use a drink. <gasps> I did it. Oh, it was only one person? Oh, well, yay! That was easy. Kind of reminded me of like selling Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> I was in Girl Scouts. I hated selling Girl Scouts cookies. Wait, where am I picking it up? Uh, the little imp in Dunbarton where you do commerce. Go talk to him there and see uh, how you play the mini game. Because I'm pretty sure that's how I practice. Hey, you're a pretty good salesperson. Well, a, pr a promise is a promise. I never lie. So here you go. Take this as my donation. Yeah, I know it's all in coins, but don't worry. It's this, It's the exact amount. Not a cent more or less. OK. 
Okay. Oh my god, it's in a piggy bank. <laughs> How much is in it? Piggy bank has the letter L engraved on it. Take it to the pontiff's court in Tara. <laughs> Wait, this is so cute. Oh, so I have to donate this? Okay. Well, I can already go donate money there too. Okay, let me go donate some. Oh, oh shoot. Okay, let's go to the church and go donate. Donate Lilius donation. Would you like to donate Lilius donation? Yes. You donated the gold you got from Lilius. <gasps> That's me! I'm number four! Hey! I didn't get notified. Wait, what happens when I'm number four? Hey! I am charitable! Hold on, let me look it up. <laughs> Offering box. Wait, what happens when I'm number four? Oh, here it is. The top five philanthropist rewards. In addition to being put on the offering board, to reward the top five players with one of the two rewards based on their ranking. Failing to report to her before Sunday will result in not being rewarded an item. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm gonna get this is that good uh, i guess either this or this all right let me go see what i get yay i'm fourth place <laughs> hello i am a philanthropist you donated more than other people to help those in need <laughs> I got Aphelius Raindrop um, versus Crocodile Lamina's Holy Moon Sword. I don't know what's better, the sword or the or the Aphelius Raindrop. Here, let's see. Aphelius Raindrop. Okay, that's 150k. And then what about the Lamin? Lamina Holy Moon Sword. Oh. Oh, well, it last sold for 100k. So I guess not a lot. Is Crocodile a good thing? I hated selling chocolates for fundraising. I know, I hated it. I hated it too. It's like a rite of passage. Can you even hold the sword? Pro oh. No, I can't. So it would have been bad anyways. So yay, I got fourth place. Oh, I guess I did get a quest. I just didn't see it. <laughs> yay, being charitable. Let's see, what are the other rewards you get? Reactive enchant scroll? Is that good? Is that a good enchant scroll? It works, seems finicky though. <gasps> it does work? How, how, what do you mean finicky though? So wait, so it does work on a touch screen. Interesting. Vintage goggle cap. Oh, here you get two, and then you also get some dew. I don't know what this stuff is for. Phileas, Phileas dew. Oh. Oh, it sells for 250k. Cool. What about the dragon blade? That looks cool, or sounds cool. Hmm. Anyways, I got fourth place. Yay me. Yay me. Also, I think there was something else. Let's see. Um, be one of the top five. Donate a random amount of gold 
on Saturday. Um, I think that's it. Yay. That's what I wanted to do, is at least get on the board at least once. Woohoo! Alright, I need to go back to Alpin now. Some of them don't go away on the first tap. Oh, so you have to like, re-tap? Tap it again. Okay, Alpin. So he didn't want to use his money. He wanted to use his sister's money so that his friend could get married. <laughs> okay, I'll get the Babda cast talisman ready as promised. My grandfather told me that each type of battle cast talisman has a different quality. This silver winged one is called um, Navon's talisman. If you use it at the tar altar, altar you'll meet goddess Navon. I think everyone's happier thanks to you. I'd love to share the happy moments from the wedding with you. Would you like to see? Yeah? Oh. Oh my god, look at his helmet. He's still wearing his helmet. Aw, this is cute. Aww. Wow. Are they gonna walk down the aisle? May the groom, groom please step forward. Oh, they're showing the wedding. Oh, look how the people move. <laughs> oh my god, what's that guy's face? Whoa, it's even the wedding music. May the bride please step forward. Comes the bride. Whoa, it's weird hearing like the actual wedding music in this. <laughs> They're so, they're so short. <laughs> oh, oh, weddings make me cry. That was beautiful. All right, to the Tara Stonehenge. They didn't, <laughs> I object. <laughs> Whoa. Something's gonna happen, isn't it? Somebody's gonna die. Nobody died, surprisingly. Um, I don't know, they they get smaller if you miss. Also, my UI is all messed up, so that might be part of the problem. Oh, okay, maybe, is there a way to like, zoom in? Oh my god, F in. Keep, keep fit, 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 uh, fiddling with it. <laughs> See if you can do that UI thing. You know how people said that you can make the game bigger. I don't want to. Aww. Please. Make the UI bigger and see if you can make that window so big and then see if it makes it easier. I was already zoomed in. Oh. My bags were off screen. Okay. Never mind then. Thanks for checking. That, bit, that does mean that it works though. All right, let's go and talk to uh, Navon. Oh. Here I go, sexy goddess lady. Bada cast talisman, I had forgotten all about it. Why have you sought me out, Militia? What dire occurrence required the use of the talisman? If you've, if you've come to return the Brionac because you, you finally realize it's not fit for a human, it is not too late. Earthquake. Whoa, who's that? Oh shoot, it's Nawada. Oh, at least I think it is. Oh wow, he's flying. Nawada? Nawada, is it really you? Oh, well, what's happening? Whoa. 
Oh shoot, he's fighting her. But why? I plan to make the militia a god. I realized that after the death of Elitha, you'd be the last to agree to my plan. I am using force to convince you where I know words will not. Nuada, it was you who spoke of the ideals of the soul stream. It, if for little else but the sake of the soul stream, the militia must be eliminated. The ideals of the soul stream, pa, tis little more than a fleeting dream. And it is the nature of all dreams to vanish into nothingness when one awakens. Whoa, get her. Ooh, dang. Ooh. Uh oh, wait, what was I trying to do to protect her? Oh, shoot. What is a dowel? Wait, I'm doing, like, no damage. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, hold on. Demigod! Demigod! Try hurting me now! That's what I thought. I still do no damage. My dows may be too much for you to go rescue Nimhane. Okay. Alright, let me... Um... Uh, here. Oh, okay. I guess I just needed to be buyer. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Whoa. Don't hurt the sexy goddess lady even though she may be evil. Stop. Is he soul draining her? We it, or wait, I, I don't know. Where am I? Oh no, she, oh no. The light of the goddess now belongs to me. The staring match. You wanna stop, why are you being so cruel? Why are you taking this so far? You still have much to learn, Militian. To become a god, you must shed all human compa- A what? You must shed all human compassion. Well, I don't want to be a god. Whoa. So is he good or bad? I can't tell. I... I'm not sure. <laughs> uh... I don't know. <laughs> okay, we gotta go talk to Lenox again. Alright, to Lenox. Why are they teleporting me here? Oh, I guess because it's the first. Okay. Huh. I need to go talk to her. I, or I had to go talk to her. But then he kind of used me to get to her. I don't know. Or maybe he already knew how to talk, how to get, how to talk to her. I don't know. It was weird. I think he used me though. I don't like being used. He says he wants to make me a god though. <laughs> Sorry to have kept you waiting. The situation with the corrupted alchemist is quite dire. Ultimately, I couldn't convince the king to see things my way. Soon there will be a great war between the two factions of alchemists. Much blood will be spilled once again, this time the blood of humans rather than formers. I never wish to see the tragedy of a main maka repeated, but to change things now is far beyond my ability. So there's like two things going on. You got the alchemist versus alchemist. And then now you got the god versus the gods. <laughs> I simply can't imagine how cruel, such cruelty coming from Nuwada. He was not the king of gods simply because of his power. He was king because of his dedication and selflessness as he fought in defense of mankind. Nuwada was our shining hope in the darkness of Mag Tarid, who delivered Aaron from the ruthless hand of the formers. It, uh, if he truly has changed that much, there must be a reason for it, a good one. Perhaps the answer lies in Nuada's past. 
The only record of Nuada's death we have is chronicled in the book The Battle of Mag to Read. It was written by a monk of the Order of Limelark named Gregorius, who was once associated with the Temple Knights. At some point, the Church of Limelark declared the book a forbidden text with most copies burned, lost, or in the hands of private owners. Still, I've heard rumor among those in the pontiff's court that the church itself still holds a manuscript. I know not where, not, I know not whether it's true or where it might be, but it may be worth looking into. All right, we gotta get our hands on this book. Horton in the pontiff's court. Okay. This is Mabby. We get used all the time. <laughs> oh. Alright, let's go talk to Quarantine. shadow hero Kylie but you must understand that I can't talk about the for a forbidden book like the battle of mag to read you should not either at least not so openly now the library of the pontificate houses all books uh, about limelark including the forbidden ones it takes quite a few monks to keep that library organized I've noticed one particular monk stops by often to use the confessional if you want to find out more about the library of the pontificate I suggest you uh, talk to that monk, but keep your curiosity at the prohib about the prohibited book quiet. Okay. This monk. Anyone know what they're eating for dinner? I need ideas. Um, probably, we still have leftover pizza, so we're probably gonna eat that leftover pizza, but tomorrow I'm gonna make um, a pot roast with potatoes and carrots. Mmm. Pot roast. Wait, I can go in? Oh, I go in. Entering the confessional. If you want to sneak in, you should look like a priest. Priests don't carry weapons. Oh. Fair enough. I need to look like a priest? Um. There. Does this look priestly? Okay, I'm gonna go in now. Oh, dang it. You should wear a robe! I am wearing a robe! Oh, maybe it can't be on my style tab. Oh, but... Hmm. Well... <laughs> Tatter at the bottom, looking like a hobo. Um... Do I have, oh here, I have a muffler robe. Here, there. <laughs> All right, okay, there we go. Oh, use the rest skill to sit on the chair. Whoa, what is this RP thing? Now I'm sitting, I finally feel relaxed. Okay, let me take this off. I think this is too suspicious. There we go. Okay. All right. Now I really look like a priest. What do I do? Do I wait for somebody to come in? Oh! Someone's entered the confessional. Ooh, listen. Hello, Father. I am a monk of Limelark. I consider, consider it the greatest blessing and joy of my life, but I have sinned, and today I wish to confess that sin. Can you imagine, for just for fun, if they have, like, a way of spilling the town gossip in here f while we wait for this monk guy to show up? <laughs> We're getting the tea. This is harder than I thought it'd be. Oh, Limelark, grant me the strength to speak my sin out loud. 
I work at the library of the pontiff's court and I have done something forbidden. I was organizing the books in the oldest room of the library, but something felt different that day. I couldn't help it. I opened a forbidden book. Why would I do such a thing? I read one book a year, if that. Why would I suddenly open a forbidden book? I must have been possessed by former's advice. Yes, I am well aware of my flaws. Monks are humans too, you know. I already know I was wrong. I know you have the authority, but I don't appreciate your advice. Appease. I'm so embarrassed. I don't know what came over me. I feel better now, though. It's like the warm light of Lima Lark is brightening this dark confessional. Let's change the topic. The library was dusty. I ducked into a back room. I think I wanted to escape the te te um, tedium of my daily routine, not to mention the brother in charge of the library, who's been unreasonably strict lately. While cleaning the room, a book with a red cover caught my eye. It was called Bolero of Love and contained an unrivaled fantasy. I had no idea it was a forbidden book. Ask about book. It's taboo for anyone to talk about forbidden books in the Church of Lyman Lark, so you must watch what you say in the pontiff's court. Even I knew nothing about them until I was given library duties. Keep quiet about the forbidden book. Forbidden books used to be are used to all be stored in the library at the pontiff's court, but because of a recent fire, many of them were relocated. Now the forbidden books are being stored separately at the ta at the Temple Knights Lair in Rundle. Ooh, that's where we go. Is there anything else that, that happens? Straight to the gallows. <laughs> Wait, how do I leave? Oh, it doesn't look like anyone's coming. Come back, come back later. Oh, I can leave now. There we go. All right, time to change back into my outfit now. All right, Ooh. all right. Okay, so we need to go talk to Colin and Tailtian? What, okay. Pot roast sounds pretty good, but not enough time to make that. Uh, yeah, true. It does take a while. Um, what about macaroni and cheese? What about macaroni and cheese with something? <laughs> I have leftover rice. Maybe I make fried rice again. Oh, yeah. Fried rice sounds good. Fried rice. Mac and rice. I don't know about that. <laughs> I wanted to avoid any association with the Temple Knights, but it seems there is no choice. Jenna's assistance is required. Just in case, please take this map of the Temple Knights, Temple Knight Lair in Rundle. It is a dangerous place to get lost. I'll guide you to where Jenna is. All right, it's gonna guide me. <laughs> Mac and rice, no cheese. <laughs> Obtain all six of materials from the enemy and ask Jenna to make you a Temple Knight coat of arms. Ooh. The Temple Knights are exclusive and their lair in Rundle does not allow any outsiders. To enter the Temple Knight's lair in Rundle, you must have a pass known as the Temple Knight coat of arms. But I no longer have the items to make one. Talk to Colin to get the blacksmith manual and then collect the six other materials needed to craft it. And we should be able to make a replica. Obtain the necessary materials by defeating the monsters. Okay. Um, exactly what items though? Hmm. All six type of materials? Did he give me the, oh. Oh, he did give me the manual. Hmm. I can't read it though. Oh! Oh wait, I don't have my bow. Okay. Uh... Oh, fifth temple knight coat of arms material. Do they keep like appearing? 
Do I need this nail? Um. Oh, I see. We have to go around and kill everything. Oh, okay, okay. Probably didn't need to pick up that nail, but oh well. There it is. So that one's the fourth one. Okay, where's the other ones? the enemies oh there's one okay this is the third gold mm -hmm. I think I have one left I think, hold on, let's see. Where did, where'd they go? Um... So, one... Two... This is a manual. Uh, why do I have so many passes? <laughs> oh, here's one. Oh, oh, this was one. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four... One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I need one more. Okay, where where is the last monsters? Oh, there they are. Bye, Leslie. Have a good day. Here we are. End it with the animals. Okay, there we go. Oh, I finished collecting the deer. So now that I have these, um, do I go talk to Jenna now? I think I go talk to her and she'll make it. Have you collected all the materials already? If you're done organizing them, give them to me. Let me make the Temple Knight coat of arms as promised. Yes. There we go. All right. I think the preparations are just about finished. I'll start making the coat of arms. Woohoo! I think I can leave now. <laughs> oh, hi, Jenna. Obtain the Battle of Mag to read. How? Drop the Temple Knight coat of arms on the Rundle Dungeon Altar to enter the Temple Knight's lair and look for the Battle of Mag to read. If you lose the Temple Knight coat of arms, talk to Colin and receive it again. Okay. All right. So, here, let me hide that bag. Okay. Wait, this is to a main. Oh, there it is. So, this is what I need. But I need to go to Rundle. So, let me go to Rundle this way. Rundle, 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 there you go. Is Rundle located in a main? Is that why they gave me the a main thing? Alright, here we go. Drop. Alright, let's do this. Jenna. It's been so long since I've been in a, to a Temple Knight's lair. It feels so strange. I promise I'd never set foot in one again, but I will do so to help you. Ooh, thanks, Jenna. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's 
Simple knights look suspicious as heck. Oh, I got lucky with that. Oh wait, speaking of. Should probably activate this anyways. I want to keep picking up this common leather because I use it. I use it a lot for when I was ranking up blacksmith. So be, hold your common leather if you guys get any for me, please. I know that's probably really annoying, but <laughs> I'd appreciate it. Get him! Okay. All right, all the temple knights are done. What's in here? Oh, there it is, the Battle of Mag to Read. Nice. What hat is this? A tail cap? What is this? I got a stiff tail cap. <laughs> okay. All right, time to leave. What, is, what was that thing that I got? Oh, can I read it? Oh, dang it, I can't read it. The front of Wrath Royal Castle. I'm gonna drop that. Okay. So now I need to go and talk to Linux. Okay, let me go do that. Fashion! <laughs> sure. It reminds me of like, the olden days American people that wore like the those kind of hats. Who are those people again? <laughs> Only if I could get a black wait wait wait. Lemore is a lucky guy. Because of Jenna, he is. I think you're past me now. Wait, me? Really? Are you not done with generation twelve? Only if I get a black bag or I can get rid of the million gems I have. Oh, you just need a. I. Uh. Hmm. Can you put them in your bank, Dry? <laughs> Is there a way that you can make an alt character? Because if you make an alt character, you can use their bank. I. Don't get rid of the gems, though. I mean, maybe you should. It just depends on when you unlock spirit. Spirit weapons, which doesn't happen until um ah, it happens at the end of book three. I don't know where you are in Blanid. Uh, but if you get here, then you can use your gems to feed. I don't know what else, I don't know what else you do. Um, with gems. Is there anything else you can do with gems? Besides, I guess you could sell them. But, eh. I've been fishing for the past two weeks. <laughs> Is this possible? Chat, you can just hold on to like the fishing cages until Until you can unlock more stuff, can you do that and then just open it whenever? Oh, thanks, doggy. I am almost at 20k. Almost. I'm at 15k. I still have 5k levels. If it's the same as older events, then yes. Yes. Why don't you just don't open your your things yet, Jai? Just wait. And just keep doing planet. Well, obviously, fish. The last day is thurs uh, Thursday. So you only have today and tomorrow. Yeah, to fish. And then you can just stop. And then yeah. Oh man, I should have done that. Well, you still can. <laughs> Gems are used for upgrades and to be eaten for ego experience as well for special trades. Yeah, but I, I don't see him using the gems for upgrades though. Darn it. But you're right. Gem upgrades. Oh wait, what are special trades? What is that? Hold on to your cages until you get a black bag. 
Well, don't. <laughs> oh, yeah, Evan, have you got your black bag yet? Did y'all get a black bag during the event? Chicken and the egg issue, it really is. No. Ugh. Well, there's still hope. You have today and tomorrow. Also, I have 250 bait. Maybe I'll get another black bag. We'll see. I never thought I'd see the Battle of Mag to read with my own eyes. So this is the truth behind the battle. Now I know why the church tried so hard to hide this book. Nuwata was the one who led the tu Tuatha de Danans in the battle against the formers. Wh who is the Tuatha de Danans people again? Is that like the founding people? Like the founding humans in Aaron? Is that what these people are? Humans were winning for a while, but then Krom Crotch appeared and turned the tide of battle. But we still had hope. Nuwata had the Temple Knights promise to help. But the weak-willed humans cowered at the sight of the black fog seeping from Krom Crotch and betrayed the god instead. <gasps> they left Nuwata to die a slow death on the cold land of Mag to read. If what Gregorius recorded is true, I can understand Nuwata's altered personality. I just hope he doesn't want revenge. Wow. The pleat. How very human. <laughs> Goddess Morgan. Oh, shoot. I have to convince her. Okay, we gotta go to Pontiff's court. So, to the jousting arena. It's quicker. I I've been I've been enjoying G12. I like this. I like this. G11 was okay. Not bad. I've only gotten one. I feel like only doesn't belong in that sentence, Orca. <laughs> but uh a bet, wait, but you what, if it makes humans better than elves and giants, then maybe it's worth it. What? I received a letter from the Alex regime, a request for a Bedub's cast talisman, despite the tensions between the regime and the pontiff's court, providing what aid I can seems to be the, uh, seems, seems to me to be the only moral choice. Here it is. The talisman was obtained by the Temple Knights. It's something called the Goddess Morgan Talisman. Would you like to enter? Yes! Let's go talk to Goddess Morgan. Uh-oh. So we have to convince her to not be evil. Good luck, me. You! You try to hide your sins, but I know about Nuwata's resurrection. I felt, uh... Navon's light start to fade. I know you were responsible. Uh, awkward. That wasn't me. Nico, thank you for the 34 months. Hello, we need to tell her that it was Nawada that did that. Oh, wait. Well, I guess she already knows about Nawada, <laughs> but still. <laughs> about that. The only one in all of Eren that has the power to destroy the gods is the master of the Brionic, you. No matter how you may try to deny it, I blame you for Navon's sacrifice. Well, it is her sister, so I can see why she is annoyed. <laughs> now died for your sins, Morgan. Canceled. She did. Poor, what was it, Mari? Poor Mari. Freaking Mari. Just tell her it was a prank. <laughs> well, you deny your greed, your lust for power. You try to become a god. However, my goddess barrier was not meant just for you. I wish to punish the greed and arrogance of all militians. Uh, well, good job, me, trying to calm her down. Ooh. Can I go up there? Oh, dang it. That's cool. Wow. The stairway to heaven. 
All right, let me leave. I don't think I did a very good job talking to her. Oh! Oh, okay. That looked weird. All out attack. Oh, God. Talk to the first four. Okay. Will do. Auntie Moore is Angie. Pretty Angie. Are we fighting Bowser next? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I didn't even notice this is her. Oh, wow. She has her eyes open. Spooky. Another war is about to happen. Sigh. All right, dude. The commander. Whoa, what did he give me? The command for a full scale attack has been issued. The war has begun. A large force of corrupted alchemists led by Helvetius is preparing to do battle in Teltian Shadow Realm. An acknowledgement of how dire a situation is. Allow me to give you a powerful piece of alchem alchemical equipment. The tower cylinder. The irony of seeing a weapon developed by alchemists to secure peace used against other alchemists is not lost on me. All I hope for now is that the fighting will be over quickly and with minimal sacrifices. Kylie, King Arthur MacQuill himself has requested your aid in this endeavor. I ask that you help defend the name and honor of our king. When am I going to meet this king? I always hear about him, but I don't think I've ever met him. All right, it is time. Um, I, oh, I don't think I need this on. Oh, I think I have to talk to them. The royal court has ordered an attack. The corrupted alchemist forcus, forces led by Helvetius are powerful. We must stay on our guard. Go with Lemur to help. Let's get going. What about Jenna? I am not here because of hatred or vengeance. Today I hold a weapon in my hand to confront my past. Head over to the front line with Jenna. Let's get going. Let's go, guys. Wait, why is it still glowing? It's raining. How moody. <laughs> oh, no. They already killed some royal alchemists. <laughs> Oh, they're all dead here. Or, I think they are. Alright, Jenna, hurry up. Are they gonna attack? I'm so curious. It takes forever for them to set that up. And they just get hit anyways. <laughs> Good job, guys. Oh no, these dead, these died. Oh, here we go. Oh. I know they're just standing there, not helping. You're here. I am in desperate need of your help. I am simply here to fulfill my responsibility as a royal alchemist. Remember, that's his dad. I still disagree with your use of alchemy. Are you still trying to convince me, Lemur? Why so serious? <laughs> Why so serious? This is no time to be fighting amongst ourselves. Let's do something about those creepy alchemists. But there's only like, oh, there we go. <laughs> Get him! <gasps> there's Helvetius. I got him. Blast him! Whoa! <laughs> my man! Give up, my friend. You have no choice of chance of winning. 
friend. It feels strange to be called that by you. At least now, I know that hell won't be boring with you along, friend. <gasps> oh, he's ma- Oh, no. No! Run for it! Oh, shoot. Oh, Jenna. <gasps> Jenna! Oh, he's gonna save her. Oh, he's gonna sandblast. Oh, he's gonna bear. Oh, I thought I was gonna sandblast her away. <laughs> or not sand. Is that sandblast? Or the wind blasts you away. <gasps> Father! <gasps> he used the barrier spikes to protect her, but not himself. I always thought you would one day understand me, but I was mistaken. I should have tried to make you understand instead of just waiting around. I may be asking too late, but can you forgive me, Limor? <gasps> On his dying breath, he asked his son to forgive him. Are you gonna forgive him, Limor? He says no. He didn't even answer. What the heck? Socks. Ooh, I want this. Ooh, I want this. Are they expired? Ooh, I want these. Thank you, whoever dropped these. There we go. <laughs> Cold. I know. Maybe he did say, oh, here we go. Oh, shoot. Wait, what? Who's that? Kyla, your worries have come to pass. Morgan is in danger. Okay. Who the heck was that? Goddess memory? Nuada's trap? Please watch the memory of Goddess Morgan reflected in the holy water of Phalius. Uh, oh, okay. I have to go here now. How did you open the inventory so fast? What do you mean? Wait, of my pet? I have it. I, uh, put the hotkey as comma. I changed it to comma. So I just pressed it. <gasps> okay, this is Morgan's memories. Whoa! I suspected the militia would tell the goddess about me. It may be that militians are destined to remain faithful to the goddess. So you were using the militia as a tool. I was used! Nuada, what are you truly after? Power! Always power. When I use this as a foot rest. He used me! So he is evil after all. It's been confirmed. Gosh darn it, Nuada. A power greater than even the gods, the eternal power of an absolute god. The power of Anton, Aton Simini, the absolute god. So you hope to sit upon the holy throne of Phalius. That's madness. Do you not remember how, how our, don't you, do you not remember how our home, Phalius, was destroyed in the first place? No one knows what could happen. The Holy Throne of Phalius may give you the ultimate power you seek, or it may cause a great disaster. Yeah. Nuada, King of the Gods, you are already powerful. There's no reason to take such a risk. In the darkness of Cromcrotch, I came face to face with death. You cannot fathom it. At the pit of despair, I understood what death was. A god can die, Morgan, but I will not let it happen to me. 
That is why I seek the absolute power of Aton Simony. Gosh dang! I will not let that happen. A Badop Kath, as a goddess of Phalius, has the duty to defend the Holy Throne of Phalius. It seems that I, Morgan, the goddess of war, am now needed. Oh, shoot. Oh! <gasps> Whoa! She changed, she evolved, chat. Wow! Her eyes! Oh, ooh. Ooh. Roll, play, walk. Ooh. Ooh, so this is what she looks like when she has her eyes open. Ah! I don't know what I'm doing. You can't, de you can't destroy me. Oh God, yeah you can. Ow, I'm gonna die. Where's my HP pot? Oh no, I'm gonna die. I don't even know what these are. What am I doing? Can I heal? Oh, I failed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got distracted with my walking. Um, okay, let's try that again. <laughs> you can't destroy me. <laughs> Can I skip this? Okay, okay, all right. Serious time now. I... There. Stop it. Um. Oh, gosh darn it. They do so much damage. I did. I died again. Hmm. Maybe I'm not reading something. Am I supposed to read something? Create distance. Defeat the enemy with wings of rage. If you if you use the wings of rage, you can ignore enemies uh, weak attacks. Yeah, I, okay, I've been doing that. Maybe I just need to not aggro more than one. There we go, okay, okay. All right, that's, that's my job. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, that was my fault. I aggroed too many. <laughs> Stop it. There, okay. Where's her HP pots, man? Hmm, how do I only get one? Okay, there we go, perfect. Come here. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, good. All right, here we go. There's only one left now. I kind of like this. She sends crows to attack people. <laughs> like what? Birds are pure evil. Ooh! There we go. Yeah, I did, did it. Oh, I did it. <laughs> I will wait for you in Phalius. The power to reach the city of the gods is already within you. What? The key is 
the Brionic, the sword of the gods. Oh, that's the key. When the fragments from Phalius take their rightful places, the gate to Phalius shall open. Who the heck is that bowl cut little kid? Cool. That was a cool fight though. Even though it died so many times. <laughs> no wonder we all follow her. It's kind of hard to say no to that. <laughs> the goddess of wool is sexy. You gotta teleport away and just use the bird attack. Okay. Well, it did eventually. <laughs> You will lose Holy Spear after this and Giant her power. Wait, what? Oh, thanks, Spring. It's Rock Lee from Naruto, but with brown hair. <laughs> it's Rock Lee's cousin. Uh. <laughs> Mock Lee. <laughs> Average Beatles fan. <laughs> uh, do I just go back in now? Morgan caught in a trap. Talk to fa to the Phalius Keeper. Equip the Brionic. Oh, okay, here we go. Equip. I don't know how to do this with this. I already have one. Okay, equip this. Uh, while in a demigod state, to access its exclusive menu displayed in the bottom left, select Phalius Warp from this menu to spin one f fragment of Phalius and open a gate to Phalius. Do I have that? Oh, I do. Hey, I remember. Hey, I know how to get those items. <laughs> Stonely. <laughs> okay, so I have to go demigod. Okay. And then. Oh, I see. Ooh. Phalius warp. Yes. <gasps> cool. Enter. Wow, cool, cool. Oh, there, there's the bolt cut. Eva, oh, it's Eva. What is Eva doing here? You did not betray my trust. I knew someone like you wouldn't simply stand aside and do nothing when you saw a goddess in danger. I am the gatekeeper of Phalius. Forgotten city of the gods. I care not what you call me. You cannot comprehend me anyway. Just call me Eva, a name you're familiar with. I can't comprehend you. <laughs> Phalius is the beginning of the universe. It was here well before life began in Eren. In the town square of Phalius, where the, tom the tomb of the god is, there are seven Stonehenge pillars brimming with Phalius Erg. Nuada is using them to restrain Morgan. The, God, the Stonehenge pillars must be destroyed to free her, but we need a plan. The slab of stone in the center of the town square indicates the flow of Erg. Destroy the stone pillar, Stonehenge pillar the slab points to. When the pillar collapses, the slab will lose light, but that does not mean the Erg of Phalius has been destroyed. Counting clockwise from the north gate that connects to the holy throne of Phalius, destroy pillar number three. Okay. Then activate the altar at the top of the stairs. Phalius Erg and Nuada's burial will be just completely destroyed. I what? Okay. Eva's day job. Oh no. She looks so pissed though. Do I remember that all that? Absolutely not. You would give up godhood just to rescue the goddess? Huh, if being a god means being like you, I choose to remain human. Man, if I had muscles like his though, I don't, I don't know. Okay, all right. Disable the barrier by destroying Stonehenge as described by the center slab. Uh, what? Which one? Info? Um, the ceiling in the middle of the square indicates which Stonehenge pillar must be unsealed next. If the pillar seal does not release, go to the floating stone. Okay, what is, what does it say? What is the, oh, this one. Oh, this one's lit up. So I go this way. Ah, okay. 
Go to the floating stone outside the Stonehenge pillars. Oh, here we go. Whack! Okay, now which one? Ooh, I like this music. Wait, can I have a pet out? Okay, there you go. This place is cool. <laughs> the music changed. <laughs> Um, uh, there's none. Oh, and Eva instructed, destroy the stone hinge at three o'clock, starting from the northern altar. At three o'clock? Twelve, one, three, three o'clock. So this one? Destroy the source of the power that controls the floating stone. Oh, okay. Whoa, what is this thing? Whoa! Oh god, run! Okay, now what? Um... Did I do it right? Am I supposed to attack this thing? Guess not. All right, I think now I need to go to the next one. Okay, that one's done. And now this one. Oh, activate the slate-shaped device on the northern altar to disable the barrier. Oh, okay, got it, okay. This thing? Yeah. Activate. Oh, something's turning. Oh. Wow, I did it. I got a feather. <laughs> cool. The power of Brionic has been transferred to Nuada. The incomplete light of the Caliburn can neither open the gates to Phalius nor awaken the abilities of Bada received from Morgan. From the beginning, Brionic was another name for Phalius. The aura of Phalius is required to restore the lost Brionic. The fragment of Phalius scattered throughout Aaron are known as the treasures of the gods. Please collect these fragments and refill the power of the Brionic that has disappeared. Why'd you lose it? No, what do you mean? It's here. Talk to Doran. The heck? I don't need that. The four vates. All right. <laughs> uh... But she's an elf. Oh, wait, me? <laughs> if you had more choice in this, I'd be evil and take all the power. <laughs> Would you? Kylie's smart. That thing took me two hours to do because I can't read. It's okay. I don't normally read either. <laughs> I've lived by the creed that there is nothing in life that you should fear. Yes, the sudden death of old friends has caused me grief, but there's no need to let that turn into fear. I'll tell you the story of how they died. It was during a time of political turmoil following the abdication of Lug Lavada. Who's they? Oh, the Vates? Uh, there were four young Vates summoned by the royal regime. That was the start of it all. We gathered inside the Wrath Royal Castle and were not met by and were met by a child. The child was dying. Oh. Ah. That child over there. <laughs> we were allowed to ask. We weren't allowed to ask or even show curiosity about who the child was or what had happened to him. We were ordered by the regime to save the boy by any method possible, but we were and we performed a miracle that even the druids had not 
ever imagined. It was alchemy that made it possible. Yes, the child was turned into a homunculus. That's how the first homunculus was created and it spurred a new era in alchemy. For a while we were under the delusion that we had indeed become gods. What we didn't know then was that this would uh, this would be our first and last homunculus. Since that time, there has not been even one case of a successful homunculus experiment, and any information about the first homunculus has been completely suppressed by the royal regime. Eva and I are the last ones who remember that first homunculus experiment. I realize that all this may be shocking, but that child is the homunculus created by the alchemist known as the Four Vates. Oh, <gasps> so... Oh, so Eva's a homunculus. There's also this to consider. Eva, like the resurrection of Nuwada, may have been a result of something outside the domain of human beings. That said, I have no explanation about the other Eva you met at the City of the Gods. At heart, I am an alchemist. I have until now based my worldview on science and reason, and I will continue to do so. For me, the fragments of Phalaeus that you are searching for exist only in stories and myths I heard as a child. What are you talking about? The bank part-time job gives them away like candy. So you might have better luck learning about them if you seek out the legends and speak with a druid. They're the ones who deal in magical fare. Alright, I need to go speak to a druid. Birch. Alright, he's a druid. Eba, you're a homunculus? Crazy. I think Birch's house is over here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wild. Why they give such a cool creation a bowl cut? Like, man, I would deck that child out. I'd be like, you look, uh, you're so awesome. Here you go. Have some cool gear and a cool hairdo. Doki stream? Question mark? What do you mean, Doki stream? Mavinogi doesn't start, uh, or Arcelia won't start until 4 p.m. Uh, but we have 30 more minutes. Yeah, half an hour. I plan to raid her. I won't be streaming, um, watching her because i usually i end at 4 p.m anyway so i'll be sending them a raid and then we can all watch together <laughs> at, on that channel oh how is doran anyway after not one but two of her friends passed away i was worried she'd be depressed but she seems to be holding up well anyway the fragments of phalius that you were searching for are probably the eight treasures said to have originated from the city of the gods when phalius was destroyed the gods chose Aaron as their new home they brought with them items that contain the holiness of Phalius. While many consider these items were myth, they do in indeed exist. The Druids have studied them extensively. Here, take this. It's called the Ark of Phalius. It will help you collect the treasures of the go the treasure of the gods. It will not be easy, but remember, there are people who will help you. The Ark of Phalius. Read. Oh, I have to collect items. There's eight! Dang it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh! Oh! There's two. Clear the Lazaro and the Treasures of the Gods quest. Okay. So I have to do this one first. Talk to Lazaro and Tara. Alright. Let's go do that. When you're created by alchemy and science, those come together into the form of a bowl cut. <laughs> I don't want to be a homunculus then. You like Birch's music? <laughs> Maybe he's trying to be like Beetle from Zelda. <gasps> oh yeah! Maybe he is trying to be like Beetle. 
Wait, I need to go to Lazaro. Why did I think that was in Teotian? My bad. How far into Gen 12 are we? Let's see. I'm on five. So five, five, five has a lot. We're definitely not gonna finish today. We just finished this one. We're on this one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thanks, Jai. It's nine, and then two more. We're close though. But then, but then I'm done with the alchemy one, and then I can start start Shakespeare. Woo! I'm kind of I'm really excited to start the Shakespeare one. I like Shakespeare. <laughs> Are y'all excited about the Doki Doki thing? Is there anything uh, that y'all plan to see or hope to see for the event that's happening? Because I've heard that every Doki Doki uh, event has been different. Like some one year they had that quiz, another year they had like different like rewards, or maybe they're always different rewards. I don't know, but I feel like every event they've changed, or I've, I've heard they've changed stuff. I haven't actually looked it up. I wish there were more females. <laughs> what? I actually like Shakespeare. I'm hyped. You're hyped for the Doki Doki? Shakespeare is interesting. It's not bad, just interesting turn. Okay. All right, Lazaro. Royal Alchemist Kai told me about your situation. Now, I pride myself on my knowledge of antiques and an ancient artifacts, but I know little about the treasures of the gods. His Majesty commanded that we support you however we can as thanks for your help against the corrupted alchemists. So please, take this goblet of truth. It has been kept by the royal regime since the time of Macleer. I got it from the Krug, from Krug, King of the Giants, when I visited Physis on a diplomatic mission. Also, I am attempting to contact the elves and Connus through my daughter Andres. Andres is his daughter? I hope to have more news for you soon. Whoa, what is this thing? Wait, what? Andres is <laughs> Moamba. <laughs> um, wow. Collect the Goblet of Truth in the Ark. Oh, okay. Collect. Okay, I did it. Clear the Andres' clue quest. Oh, okay. There we go. Talk to Andres and Tail Tian. Wow. Zaro's daughter is Andres, but Andres is an elf. But she was adopted. Oops, I didn't mean to unsummon him. Man, can you imagine Lazaro being your dad? Is that why she felt like she had to hide? All right. Oh, no, it's because she did get made fun of. Oh. That's just how most online games are fed. Female in games are often males IRL. Oh, you mean like actual female playing male female? <laughs> it's fine. Character, female character models are usually superior, so sorry. <laughs> On my father's request, I made contact with the elves of Conus regarding the treasures of Phalius. Haggle was quite forthcoming with the necessary information. It seems that the memory tower contains information about one of the fragments. Uithen? Uithen? Uh, it was located deep inside the underground maze and noobs. I traversed the maze and was able to retrieve Uithen. I'll give it to you for safekeeping. I'm sure it will prove useful. Do I put that in my thing now? Oh, that was easy. Lita, the royal geological. Blah, 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 blah. Happy wiki. Hold chat. I think I want to do research before they talk about the Doki Doki event. 
So they've had a Doki Doki event since 2014. There was one in February, one in September of 2014. Wow, it happened twice. Then one in 2016, then one in 2019, then one in 2022. Oh, they also had, or 2020, and then 2022, and now it's 2024. So they do it like every two years. <laughs> I wanna see how it's evolved. This is the soulmate thing. Register a profile, automatically find a match. So you had to find a soulmate and you work towards getting romantic points. Um, oh, this is the cat eye. So that's the currency. <gasps> There's the boom box. So you got a boom box, celebration box, traveling broom box, doki doki pet box, and this outfit. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Harmony Tut Torch at the Town Square Harmony Place. If players use a campfire near the torch and then rest next to the campfire for 10 minutes, they will receive Doki Doki Celebration Box and a lovey dovey buff. <laughs> a lovey dovey buff. Oh, I want a lovey dovey buff. Concert Hall. At the Concert Hall, a party leader can talk to the stage owner to rent the stage for use. All players must be in the same party. Renting is free. The stage itself holds no significance. Players simply occupy the space and are free to do as they please. Okay. Festival games. Near the festival market are two mini games. Players can compete to the highest score and earn a Doki Doki celebration box. Oh, there's a dart game? That's cool. That's like Festia. Um, and there's also the hammer game. What the heck? So maybe this is how Festia was created. The idea, I guess, maybe evolved. Okay, so that was the very first event. The next one that happened a couple months after seems like it's the same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Is it the same shop? Oh, heart wings. Oh, there's the wing box. So they added more rewards. Ah, okay. Then one in 2016, so two years... Two years later, um, same. This probably is different, but I don't want to read that. Cat eye shop, whoa. Definitely different items. <laughs> Sweetheart flight, flight coupon, that was, that's big. And then all these wedding, <gasps> wedding bouquet, ooh. Okay, traditional elf bridal veil. Ooh, cute. Wait, what does the elf thing look like? Where's the elf, traditional elf, uh, traditional elf wedding dress. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. Um, Harmony Torch, Concert Hall, Fez with Dark Game, Hammer. Okay, that's not changed. Okay, what about 2019? Mm, oh, natural dye. Near the festival market, you can create natural dye ampules by registering a main character at the natural dye helper. Dyes are created in a mini game. The player passes a dish side to side using arrow keys to catch falling berries. Uh, adds blue to the RGB. Cherries add red to the RGB and clumps of grass adds green. Pressing space changes the multiplier for how much value is added to the RGB. If the RGB exceeds value 255 or falls below zero for any color, the minigame fails. The minigame can be restarted an infinite number of times. So wait, this you can create a dies. That's cool. I remember I remember Yvesta was talking about how you can just create dies or something during this event. Um cat's paw shop. Oh. So then it changed from cat's eye to cat's paw. Um, and these are the things that you get. Ooh, wedding Russian blue whistle. That sounds like a cat. Russian blue is a cat. Um, flight coupon, boom box, flight coupon, second title. Ooh, riding boots. Got some cute outfits, wedding stuff. Heart wings, hot pink heart wings. Wow, you can see all of it here. Oh, there's a... There's a wig, apparently. Cool. OK, 
Okay, so that was 2019. So what was 2020? Um, also, is the soul make soul th the same? I don't. I haven't read it. I don't know. You can enable auto refuse soulmates. <laughs> Um, this definitely looks like it's changed, but I don't know. Harmony Torch, Concert Hall, Natural Die. So they did the same thing in 2020, but different rewards. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just curious about what Doki Doki really had. Hi, Pori. Aw, I'm sorry to hear that. And it's snowing, I have a headache. Why don't you get some tea and relax, buddy? It sounds like a hard day. I'm sorry. We're creating a full cat. All comes back to homunculus. Cat is gonna have a bowl cut. The conspiracy theory fit rain. Hi, Sarju. Happy Tuesday. I want a boom box. What is this? What is this thing? Ginormous cake? What is that? Whoa! Oh, it's a chair! Wow! It's a chair. <laughs> Oh, I just to casually sit on a giant waffle. And there's a fruit tart, too. <laughs> um, so you all, I want to know what this looks like. The wedding Russian blue whistle. Wed oh, wedding Persian whistle. Falling cherry blossom second title coupon. Flight coupon. Sweetheart, there's so many flight coupons. Um, sweet chocolate bathtub. Oh, goodness. Boom box, traveling boom box. Oh, this is the wig. <laughs> what is this screenshot? That's the wig, one of the wigs you could have gotten. And then this is another one. Kind of cute. Um, this is the outfit. Oh, that's kind of, that's cute. Candy pop riding outfit. Um, and there's the male one too. Oh, the males. There's wolf ears. Oh my god, you can be in Yasha. That's one without ears. What does the outfit look like? Oh, that looks cool. Wait, isn't that the one that you have, Orca? Katie Pops in here's wedding traditional suit. <laughs> wedding traditional dress. That's pretty. Um, bridal veil, earring, same stuff. Okay, cool. All right, and then, oh wait, is that it? And then last year, 2022, they had this. Um, same thing. This is smaller. Holy cow. Choir assembly players right click on any player and send a direct invite. Players can also talk to the matchmaker to register a dating profile and automatically find a match. You may leave your soulmate at any time, but any points accumulated will be lost. So don't leave them. <laughs> Stay loyal. Um, and you can also auto-refuse soulmates. The soulmate window has the name and location of your soulmate, the time spent with them, and the amount of romantic points you and your partner have earned. At the bottom of the soulmate, there's a private chat box that only you and your soulmate can access. Soulmate's location is marked unknown if the soulmate is offline in a different channel inside a building or any homestead. So you can have a secret message with only them. Uh, romantic points used to indicate how close a player is to their soulmate. But they have, didn't they have romantic points here? I guess they just separated to make it easier to read. <gasps> Boombox minigame. That's where that this is from. The Boombox minigame will reward 40 romantic points if two soulmates complete it together and score 50. Oh, that's the, that's the DDR game. Uh, what is this? Oh, they had more mini games in 2022. Depths of the Heart Test. Once per real life day, soulmates can attempt the Depths of the Heart Test from the psych, psych, <laughs> psychology student. The test is a single two choice question with a 10 second time limit. You and your partner must both choose the same answer in order to pass the test. Oh, uh, well, that's easy. You just go on Discord. That's cheating. <laughs> Goodbye, Discord. <sighs> Dang, I can't hide from them. You don't want to hide from them. That's how you get points to buy items. 
Anyways, you have to choose the same thing. <laughs> soulmate rewards. After achieving 20 and 100% and romantic points, soulmates can talk to the matchmakers to like get gift to receive the second couple's flight and first couple's flight actions respectfully. respectively. These allow you to fly in flight zones similar to a flying mount. Harmony torch. Okay, they have the same thing. You just sit by the campfire. And then you'll receive the soulmate box and the lovey dovey buff. The soulmate box has. Oh, it has a bunch of stuff. What is a sweetheart's note? A note from you, from your one and only on Doki Doki Island. When placing inventory, it will randomly boost your MP. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> and then you got more gems. You got some mercenary scrolls you got some materials potions gestures oh this is how you get the gestures um oh wow sweetheart ring i guess these are items that you can i don't know what these are oh totems they're to oh i know what those are interesting so i guess the chance to get these were lower is that a th is that true chat guessing the totems were low low chance um, oh, it looks like there's several different ways to get the boxes, I guess. Um, there's the concert hall. Mm. Forms will start a minute set up period. Oh, wait, that's what it, the concert hall looks like. Only one party can perform at a time and only one party can preemptively queue up. Is this changed since the day? I don't know. Apparently there's a concert hall. Wait, do you get a box from doing the concert? I don't think so. Um, oh, and the die came back. Oh, it's still like the arrow key game, so you can make your own dies. What kind of dies would I want to make? White dies, maybe? Since white is really hard to get with die, like dot with regular die amps. Oh, I never got my diamps last sat Sunday, did I? Oh no, I forgot. Orca, why didn't you remind me? I mean, to be fair, that was when the Super Bowl happened. Um, okay. And this is the cat paw shop from last year. So, midnight couples flight. What was the flight that you guys said that y'all liked the most? Didn't y'all say it was from like the earlier ones or something? I can't remember what y'all said, but y'all liked a certain one. I want to I wanna know what it was. Oh, a Sweetheart's Flight Coupon? I think it was this one. I think everybody liked this one. I can't remember. It was either this one or... Um... Moonlight? I don't know. I can't remember the one that Yvesu was saying. Gray. I don't have VIP anymore. Oh, man! I don't have to remember anymore. Remind, remind me. I would make the blue if you're going for that. Oh, okay. White and black are easy to get with the regular. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I could try blue. But that means I have to figure out the exact amount of blueberries, berries, and base herbs. <laughs> Which sounds kind of difficult. Uh, white heart wings, light pink, doki doki magic carpet whistle. Harmony flight coupon, romantic day second title coupon. What did that look like? I don't know what that does. Um, falling terribly. Uh, oh wait, this is all the prices. Dang, that's expensive. Um, prep heart outfit. Um, prep heart beret. And traditional Doki Doki Premier Box shoes, gold insignia, velvet chair. Oh, I remember seeing that. Homestead fireworks, homestead bamboo bench. Interesting. Oh, there's a Doki Doki totem box. Um, cool. Oh, there's a boom box. So we're going to be able to get a boom box again, hopefully. Cool. There's so much in Doki Doki. 
So we're gonna have to figure out. We're gonna find out in ten minutes. Well, maybe maybe twenty minutes because she still has to like start and say hi and everything. But we're gonna. She's gonna go over what twenty twenty four is Doki Doki looks like. I'm gonna say it's gonna be copy and paste this, but with just different rewards. <laughs> I guess. Wow, I went I went real deep in that. <laughs> My bad. I was just curious. I have a couple's flight. I wonder if it's the one people like. Yeah, I have no idea what the one people like is. There's a custom hair skin tones you can try making if you have gear for it. Uh, wait, what do you mean try? Thanks, Stardew, for the three stream streak. Does anybody know what the flight that everybody likes is called? Welcome to the club. We're just normies now. <laughs> you don't have to have VIP. Couples flight can be sold for a hundred million after six months or a year. <laughs> so what you're saying is get extra just to sell them. Gosh dang. Oh, it was sweetheart. Ah, oh, it was Sweetheart Flight. Okay. Maybe just because it hasn't come out in a while. So if it comes out this time, then maybe, maybe, uh, maybe it'll be really good. I don't know. We're just special just being here. <laughs> I feel sad I didn't use my, I didn't take advantage of the dies. But oh well, it happens. This is a big investment time, okay, Ben? <laughs> For example, the default Young Miss gloves have a white skin tone color. Oh, making a custom dye with a minigame can change that skin tone. Oh, so you can make it look... Oh, okay, I see, I see. I see, I see. And I'd like to do the boombox game. Wait, how am I going to... How am I going to choose a soulmate? Yvesu said she wants to be my soulmate, but Yves I can only play with Yvesu when she gets home from work, but I stream. I wonder if she would feel okay if I, like, chose you or Effin Orca so that we can just show the content on stream. I don't know. I'll, I'll see, though. I guess we can always... Oh, no, if we cancel our soulmate, then all the points get rid of, so I don't know. My soulmate success rate is 50%. What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> Six, 50%. Like they either help or don't help. How much am I paying? What? My friendship's free. <laughs> Just my suggestions. I spent many die mini games making white and black. No, I agree. But now I have to figure out what color... There, I mean, let's see. Are these all the same color? Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess I have to figure out how do I make the this color? 6, 1, 8, 1, 2, 1, 9. I guess I have the R and the G and the B. I guess I just need a lot of, I don't know how the minigame works. I've never done it. <laughs> but it says that you can retry it over and over, so I guess I can fail it on purpose. Or not on purpose, but fail it and then not feel bad for failing. They die? What do you do to them, Fed? We never saw each other again. Oh, okay. <laughs> I never get my flight reward. I'm sorry. Guess Orcas want, wants money for being a soulmate. Yeah, Effin. Um, uh, dibs. <laughs> the mini game is self explanatory. It's really easy. Okay. What about all the other stuff that you do with a soulmate, Sarai? I shall host an auction for the privilege to be my soulmate. <laughs> as long as you don't close the mini game window, you can retry as many times as you want until you get the desired color. Cool. I ain't paying them nothing. I'll be alone. No, I want to I want to do the stuff. By the way, tomorrow is Valentine's Day, guys. Are y'all doing anything for Valentine's Day? I've never done so many stuff forever alone. Dang it. How about I become the matchmaker and we, f we help each other find soulmates. You should definitely join my Mabinogi Discord, guys. Here, hold on. Let me get the link. Because maybe we can all, like, schedule out soulmates. 
in my Discord. Hold on. Let me get a link. This Discord's open to, to people that play Mav Noogie, guys. Here you go. You don't have to be in my guild. It's called Pixelated, but that's just because I needed a name for the Discord. Ooh, that sounds fun, Stardew. Stardew. Hopefully Cat isn't expecting anything. Adam! Of course she's expected. Did you ask her to even be your Valentine? Or, yeah, your Valentine. You didn't ask, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Gonna get matched with a cousin who likes to move and sink. <laughs> does it randomly choose or... Wait, does it randomly choose? Didn't they say like Doki Doki had like a survey thing? I Or maybe they don't have it anymore. I don't know. Is it kind of like Tara, where you can choose, or it'll choose a, you know what I mean? It'll choose a person for you, but that's not AFK, <laughs> I'm guessing that's how it works. Nope, didn't ask, gotta leave room for bear to ask. <laughs> okay, Adam is the gift. <laughs> I have a date with Tifa and Aerith, but Robert doesn't come out until next, next, next Thursday. Or are you playing Remake? I hope it can root out bots. I don't think it's, I don't, I don't know how you would root out a bot. <laughs> I hope it doesn't give you a bot. Playing the demo. Oh, you've been playing the di oh right the demo the demo right right right. But y'all should definitely join my Discord. That's where I hang out when I'm not streaming. That and my streamer Discord. I'm in both clearly.